Le West. Le West. What's his name? Le West. Le West. Le West. <laughs> you got it? Uh, where was it? Fuck, sorry, guys. Oh. Lewis Hamilton's Instagram. Yeah, you, you gotta highlight that. Remember? <laughs> Starting off right. Starting off right. As we always do, week after week, you can always rely on us. <laughs> <laughs> this is a flat out fever podcast uh flat out fever com. Flat out fever. Yo, we got a we got a we got a youtube url now we do like a like a custom one flat oh uh, youtube.com slash sleep slash c slash flat out fever podcast podcast flat out, flat out fever podcast. Get that right you don't need really that slash c in there but it looks way cooler when you put it yeah, 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 yeah. it sticks Obviously, I'm being very sarcastic. You already passed it. Scroll up. You already passed it. And back down. Slow down. More down, 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 down. Come on. There we go. Oh, there you go. In the middle. One, two. That's it. <laughs> Part one. Play it. <laughs> Done. And how much do you think he made? Lady, I think he made like six million. No, six billion. And his name is what? Sorry? Lewis. Lewis. And how much do you think he made? Go back, there's a part two, there's part two. <laughs> part two. Nobody is perfect. You know how to do it. Do it. You know it's perfect. <laughs> so he's the best driver. He's the best driver. You know like Nobody is perfect. You know how to so, do uh, it. Hey, check out if you want to see the video, check out Lewis's <laughs> Instagram. He's basically he's Messing with this Uber driver, whatever he. Well, is. I don't. I don't think he intentionally. Well, I don't did think it. he's messing with him, but <laughs> he's not gonna be like, "Yeah, I'm Lewis," and then the guy's gonna freak do you out. Th- do, you, do you think that he like he like showed him his idea after like, "Hey, I'm Lewis. Don't <laughs> worry about it." <laughs> yeah, he probably did. He would have made, of course. Why not? Why not make the guy's day? Shake yeah, his hand. Exactly. <laughs> thank sweet. him for the ride. <laughs> um, I'm not Lewis Hamilton. I always say thanks for the ride and. <laughs> I usually say, "Hey, I'm Danny." When I get in, right? Well, they they want the one because if not, like they're kind of obsessive about it. They're like, "Are you Javier? Are you Javier? You have to be Javier to get into the Uber." <laughs> I never got that. Yeah. <laughs> I have. I don't know. Maybe maybe they're like more like spooked about it down on King Street. I guess so. <laughs> Anyways, today's the second day of wet weather testing. All right. Ooh. What happened? Ooh. Uh, well, let's talk about the first day. First day, yeah. No, that that some of those pictures from. Per at least wet weather testing look like Bernie Ecclestone's wet dream. <laughs> you know, yeah, what, that's what he wants, man. He wants to, st- to install sprinklers on the side of the tracks. <laughs> it was an idea that was floated for sure. <laughs> pull, pull up that uh, the, uh, the gallery that. there. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Man. I think it's on the very top of the page, the very top of the links. Highlighted. There you go. It's highlighted right there. Right there. Yeah, it's highlighted. Uh, uh, yeah, basically, yeah, basically they used uh, 35 sprinklers, actually, to be exact, connected by 315 pipes to wet the track. Uh, yesterday, I think they tested more of the full wet tires. They super wet the track. And uh, today, they were testing drying conditions. So they kept it half wet, I think, with the intermediates or the uh, the X-wets, as, as uh, we saw. You know, the X-wet. Yeah. Possibly a new it's brand of Sintiratos. That, that's supposed to be in the middle in of the middle, what, what right. is now the... Uh, Wet and intermediate the types. Intermediate, yeah. Right, yeah. Is it? Yeah, between the two wets or between the wet and the, the intermediate and the dry? Between the two wets. Between the two wets, yeah. yeah. Okay. So to, to, to allow Super for more, clarify. a little bit more strategy. But what is the... the um, The thing about it before is that like the wets were, were too soft to use a lot of the times like, again they hardly ever use them and the inters didn't afford them that flexibility uh to be able to like do like a quick enough lap as the track is drying out right they would last like three laps in, in certain tracks right? yeah 
Uh, so that's that, 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 that's what Pirelli is aiming to do. But, uh, but um, now, bear in mind that these are old cars, or like they're supposed to be old cars. Yeah, last year's cars. <laughs> right? Um, but you can still see now, like, there, there's been some livery changes. Um, yeah, like, there's, there's a top. Red, Red Bulls. Go, go, if you go to the very first picture at the top of the red, oh, maybe, yeah, either that one or the middle one there, you can see all the Stark. purple is gone. Yeah. It's darker. It's it's the Red Bull colors. There's no more. The purple was uh, for Infinity. the Infinity Infinity oh, really? brand bef- before. Yeah, Nissan Infinity that was their sponsor until this nice. year and didn't renew. You see the very small tag Heuer at the very see on the on the right side at the on back the of the car. Cover. Yeah, yeah, right on the engine cover. It's very small. It's not what I was expecting. Mm. But obviously, this isn't this year's car either. No. Right, this right. But uh, the you, 2015 car. You can get some clues as to what the liveries of these cars are going to be. If you go a little bit at down, least, yeah. You see the uh, the Mac Honda is still very much the same, and <laughs> somehow you could go down one more. Uh, they've chosen to hide the Chandon uh, logo there, but I mean, all you got to do is pull up the uh, that is their logo, the logo, and like you can see that. That's that little star thing there. Star on the moon. That's yeah. That's clearly it's it's shut down. It's not, there's no mystery there. So bef- before we move on, I have some info about that. Oh yeah. Do you, do you know the reason? Tell me. In France. Okay. As well as I, ha- I don't know I've, I've, I don't have the list actually now, but there's a handful of European countries where alcohol advertising is illegal on, oh. on television. Oh. So this sort of skirting the rules for them because. This was a private event attended only by media. There's no TV coverage. Uh, more and more is, uh, is, is contributing right now. Danny, take it. Where, where does he say? Uh, who attended the test? Oh, motoring more. Somebody's uh, following us on YouTube. Hey, buddy. Uh, wow, might not stop the accidents like Japan. Are these 15 or 16 in? Uh, yeah, 19. These are 2015 cars. Yeah. The Red Bull has a tag on the engine, I guess. I don't think they're allowed to use the Renault at all in in media no, 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 or no, no, not for all. 2016 right yeah uh i would say not the finalized liveries no they're not they're, they're definitely going to add more stickers to it i mean one would hope yeah red, red bull is going to have more sponsors than, than just you know red bull actually have the date february 17th they're set to reveal their livery and February 22nd, they're set to reveal the full car now, at fer- the first day of testing. Ferrari was actually there, too, if you go if you go down. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, the Ferrari car looks exactly more or less exactly the same. Yeah, and yeah. You, you know that they're not going to do that. They always do, like, something else with the Ferrari. They change, like, the you know, this, these black lines or, the, you know, yeah, where they put the black and the, uh, the Italian colors here and there uh, so this is not going to be the finalized ferrari livery of course not no they want they but they want to make a big deal about it this year i don't know why um i think it was last year it was the first time that they actually had like a uh, a soft opening instead of like inviting a bunch of journalists from all over italy and making a big like deal about it and like you know serving like i don't know <laughs> some shandong or, or or you know the <laughs> <laughs> Hook, Shots hooker, of shell gas. Hookers and blow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> instead of doing that, they actually did a thing over the internet. Now they're doing that again this year, but they clearly want to get some like social media attention. <laughs> Maybe, probably. And uh, oh, that hashtag red, uh, whatever the Ferrari's doing. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Uh, you know, it's really, it requires it's a red. lot of participation. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, as for well, the last question here, who attended the test? Ferrari, McLaren, and Red Bull attended. Um, Ferrari sent both race notice, drivers. Notice the absence of Mercedes. Yeah. They well, said they're, they're they were happy. They're <laughs> too good for it. Lewis Hamilton is off hugging tigers and making a rap album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot Don't of pictures no of tigers on his Instagram. <laughs> no, no, th- no time for that. <laughs> to- Toto really? Wolff said he was, ha- he was convinced that uh, these teams would be uh, prevented from making any adv- gains, and uh, he's happy to let them test for them. Okay, have you okay, go 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 back to like where where it shows the actual sprinklers on the track? I think. Yeah, I was okay. looking for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there, 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 there. That looks like a lot more than thirty-five, there. unless they weren't look. using the whole track. Look, let's look, but, but look at that. Uh, look at yeah. Um, these sprinklers are like your you know regular garden variety sprinklers from by the look of yeah. them. You know no, what I mean? Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what would happen if some you know? You know, somebody of the ilk of Maldonado, like, <laughs> <laughs> crashes and takes one of these out. Um, 
like just like just runs over it. I think those you, know, are- you know if if this actually ever be- this is what I'm saying if, if this actually be- ever became part of like regular everyday Formula One, <laughs> like we have should. sprinklers on on the track. <laughs> um, let's say somebody crashes into them, right, and then just just blows it up. These things just shoot water straight up, don't they? Like, oh if, yeah, yeah, if, yeah. If, if you do that, like if if it doesn't have this head, it would just be like water straight up. Right? Can you, imagine, sprinkler race can you imagine how messy that would get? That could that could actually be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> if there's just like a fire hydrant type scene like of just like water spewing everywhere. <laughs> that thing I was wondering that would be nice. So obviously they don't but heated water, heated sprinklers, you know. Not uncomfortable. Heated sp- oh, for the drivers. <laughs> for the drivers, yeah. For their comfort, obviously. Yeah. Be funny if they added fucking fire the next one. <laughs> Let's go back to that Shandon logo though cuz uh, we we got Outside track for a second there. In France, it's illegal to advertise alcohol on TV. Yeah. And uh, let me highlight something for you on the... Oh, man. I'm sorry. Here, Right here. Alcohol and tobacco advertising. I got a link on our links page here towards the middle. This is something that Ferrari actually got away with for a long time. Yeah, this is the photo. See if you can spot it. So instead of saying Chandon... Like they like they normally do on the side of the uh, McLaren, they put the logo. Where they do here? Mm-hmm. Do you see it? Yeah. Wait, is it this? It is, and the side, the barcode. Yeah. If anyone, if anyone that remembers that's not watching Ferrari for a while, yeah. After cigarette advertising was banned through giant barcodes on their cars, and they they were all different versions. There was a taller version, a longer version. That is the barcode for Marlboro cigarettes. Oh no way! <laughs> yeah. It's it's supposed to represent yeah Marlboro for sure yeah. That's their barcode. Huh? If you scan that, you go boop, eleven ninety seven or whatever it costs. For <laughs> effect, whatever the cigarettes cost. Yeah, but so it's basically the same trick. Well, well, unless you knew that. Yeah, well I don't well, know. People, well, like, what people, would be the point? Well, okay, no, it, uh, it it's might even also be, they 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 actually like did um, a marketing research especially uh, with analysis the internet. on it. Go, What's that barcode? No, and the thing is that um, at high speeds, at the speeds of F1 cars usually move, mm. it it creates the illusion of like it's saying Marlboro. Fuck off. <laughs> Let me try it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. I try to shake, shake my head really fast. Not 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 a lot, but it's like kind of like the same. It's, let's say you're okay. Remember um, when we were in Montreal, and like the first thing that you see when you go into uh, Circus Gilles Villeneuve. Is like the cars going down that that uh, the back straight, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and how it's more of a blur. Yeah, essentially, like the blur of this would be very very similar to the blur of Marlboro. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, maybe that's why I wanted a cigarette so yeah. badly. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. It, like, yeah. I was like, guys, this god is so it. exciting. It pulls out a smoke. <laughs> oh man, that's intense. <laughs> so uh, for uh, for for Ferrari yesterday, Stoffel Van Dorn. For the full wet day, the first day was a full wet day. Stoffel Van Dorn drove for McLaren. Um, Ricciardo drove for Red Bull. And Kimi Raikkonen drove for Ferrari. Red Bull was the fastest. Today, Kvyat was... I don't know who was actually driving for McLaren today. Kvyat was driving for Red Bull. Do you know? Yeah. What are you typing so much? Just uh, replying to Motor more. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Vettel was the fastest today, obviously. Deutschland. Deutschland, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know. That's that's pretty much it for the testing. If you actually go to our Twitter page, I posted yesterday for it. They didn't use exactly use sprinklers, but two years ago, January 29th, twenty ninth, twenty fourteen, there was an artificial wet weather test at Harris. Might have forgotten Harris. <laughs> yeah, if you have forgotten, I posted a picture there on our Twitter. If you want to pull that up. But they basically used a, f- a few uh, like farming tractors pulling tank or tanks of water, and uh, yeah, I wonder. Okay, listen, I want to see the pictures the of the potential parts that they were trying. Uh, c- clearly, there haven't been too many pictures of of that kind of stuff. Like I've I've looked around. Like there's nothing too obvious. Obviously, arrow that they've changed. So my guess is that. If these teams actually try to get away with testing something, um, they're probably testing uh, testing engine bits, 
I guarantee you that. I think that the team showed up there with something under the hood, you know, that you couldn't see. This is, this is the last thing I really have to say about the testing, I guess, because um, there's not a whole lot of news that came out of there. But I had a discussion with somebody on Reddit yesterday about this. Uh, there was a thread, if anyone saw it. He asked the question, could anybody have done that? Yeah. So here's the thing. Ferrari, remember we talked about this at the end of the season last year. Two or three races from the end, Renault used a few of their tokens to change a few parts that I think they ended up not racing because they said that it was actually detrimental to their performance. But we were speculating that most likely they were thinking ahead to 2016 and change some stuff that's going to help them this year. I think Ferrari did the same thing because remember <laughs> they homologated their final engine, their final four tokens yeah. in Abu Dhabi just before the race and then didn't race any of those parts. So if they saved those tokens until the end and then knew or assumed they were going to get 32 for this year, same as everyone else, yeah. they essentially give Ferrari 36 tokens <laughs> for this year and they Ren would have tried and, to get away with that wouldn't they and Renault similar I believe I believe Renault did the same thing we talked about talked about a few months ago Renault changed something with their exhaust yeah and I was guessing that we had to do with the split uh configuration of the yeah uh, what's what's it called the, the, the over boost for the turbo yeah. and yeah I think Ferrari did something similar right at the end of the year they never ran that engine or any of those parts that they changed in testing practice or race or qualifying but there's a chance they ran them today because they were homologated in 2015 yeah that's true but they might not have worked with this engine at all and i predict they just started working on their engine far earlier in the year well man assuming they had 36 tokens put four parts they definitely were going to change even even never the, race them e and even my, my honda has come out now with uh <laughs> saying that they found 226 horsepower <laughs> Yeah, oh, I, I read like, that. Let's just find like a bunch of little horses. <laughs> 166 kilowatts. Where were they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. <laughs> Jesus I think Christ. No, most of it was predicted to be in the cooling of their ERS system. Listen, 166 kilowatts. We talked about this last week. I had this drilled into my head in school. <laughs> Engineering fact, 746 watts, one horsepower. Oh, shit. So, uh, yeah, Honda gained 166 kilowatts, 223 horsepower. Okay, but if they did so, like, that's that's big, man. We're talking about, like, this could bring the Macron. If it's true, which, like, I don't know. Can you believe anything? Like, over this year, like, well, actually, over, over all of last year, every single thing, the Ron Dennis or uh, Yasuhika Arai or Yas Yasuhisha. Shisha. Or, Shisha. Yeah, Arai ever said were <laughs> fucking unsubstantiated lies <laughs> as far as we could tell right just made a bunch of shit up yeah. <laughs> this didn't come directly out of honda but <laughs> they were down a deficit they were expected a de deficit on the straits of something like uh i don't what was it se se somewhere seconds between 70 seconds. 70 to 100 and two and a half seconds over an, over an over a lap How horsepower wise they're guess somewhere between 70 to 115 but that could, that could close we're talking about if if it's true that could close the gap that would overtake the gap even, right? The I don't know. No, no, I don't think so because uh, no, well, you'd be like, no, come on. You'd be I stupid think it, to think that the Mercedes hasn't been working on their engine as well at the same pace or more than they were before. They have too much invested in it and now that they know that it's going to be a guaranteed thing 2018 to th through to 2020. They have even more of an incentive to still keep dumping the same amount of cash. That's shit. That, that, that budget has already been written off. I can believe it. That they gained that because their deficit last their deficit last year was on the straights in the ERS system. They they did fairly well in Monaco and one or two other races where they scored points on the tracks where there weren't long straights that demand that electric power at the end, right? So I don't know. We'll, we'll see though. Yeah, we'll see. These are only the 2015 cars. I think uh, uh, you know what. It's 2016, and I was just talking about this with uh, um, this guy from work that uh, um, he, he found out that I was uh, that I did this F1 podcast, and then we started talking about uh, F1 and like how it, like him, much like uh, a few other people out there, um, even though they really liked F1 at, the, uh, at some point, they kind of got tired. They like, fell they, off the wagon. There's people that already got tired of the Mercedes domination, but I was trying to explain to him like, listen, man. As much as it might still be next year, like this this year, 2016 might still be 
a Mercedes dominated year. All the elements are in place right now for it to still be a fantastic year. Mm. We have lots to look forward to. The Ferrari possibly making some gains. Yeah. Uh, Maconda, if this is true, um, getting it up there. Even if the even if Maconda is just fighting for like the top of the midfield, that's still pretty good. I th- I'd say that that's still pretty good. That's that's like that. that's that's not what another team expected. Red Bull went from zero to champion to a championship winning team in five years. So that's how long it took him. And they dumped like it was like a like they they like uh, uh, Dieter Marischitz like turn on the, the the money tap and it was just flowing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? These these teams yeah. have the resources to make it happen. And now that they've locked it down, they know it's gonna be um, a chase until 2020. I think the at least the ones with the biggest wallets are going to be uh, giving uh, Mercedes mm-hmm. a run for the money. For sure. I think so. I I think... Uh, we'll talk about this a bit later, but I think that the mm-hmm. manner... The new type of teams, the Manners and the Hazes, are going to maybe be giving McLaren a run for their money. Yeah. We got all but of that. Let's, let's get into that. Though. All of that and more to look forward to. Anyway. Um, let's look forward to it. Yeah. This, it's, it's, it should be a good year. 2016 should be one to, one to remember. I... Yo, you know, you know, you know, you know who Bernie reminds me of? <laughs> a a wrink- lord, a wrinkly bum, <laughs> the, the, the 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 huge dude from the new Star Wars movie. Have you seen the new Star Wars movie? I haven't. Oh, no, I so have. No spoilers. Okay, well, you you, you no. know what I'm talking about. The, the big dude. Oh yeah, 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 the, yeah, the yeah, huge, yeah. the huge dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from the Star Wars movie. Oh he's my god. He's an emperor. He's a yeah. Sith Lord. That's <laughs> it's, what it's, he is. It's, 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 that's his whole persona. Yeah, like, is he like that Jedi. that prince dude from uh, 300? That's like that Persian dude. That's like eight feet tall. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> if you haven't seen the, if, if you I have actually seen, haven't seen Star Wars, I have not seen. Ah, uh, okay. The Star Wars. You know what? I'm gonna tell you one thing, and then, and I'm not ruining anything. I feel like by telling you be about to ruin no it's thing. a good it's a good movie it's a good movie honestly. it's a great movie yeah it's a good movie. it's a good movie i didn't say it wasn't a great movie i said you're about to ruin something okay fine <laughs> <laughs> you know what we'll talk about star wars when you finally watch it i'll get, watch it I've get yourself a, to a theater i've seen all the other ones multiple times just get, get yourself to a theater all right I will. um I will do that. <laughs> bernie though recently he we were talking about this last week he he was basically the loser of uh this confrontation of big egos and uh the so-called type a personalities uh up in geneva (laughs) and uh the alpha males the alpha males the the big dogs the piranha club met (laughs) the silverbacks these are the old guys (laughs) (laughs) these are the old guys they're all (laughs) leading their own tribes coming together for fuck's sake but bernie was a big loser um you you read the headlines out there, but that's eventually you, what happens. Well, a younger gorilla comes in and beats that silverback's ass. But remember, remember what we <laughs> well, remember when I when I like, said yeah, that Bernie running this tribal Bernie for now. sure wasn't gonna go down without putting up a fight. Yeah. But Bernie, like he's he's still probably will go down when he dies as one of the uh, most the tenacious rock, negotiators mm-hmm. in history. Right, like the shit that he's gotten. This is the guy that, as part his of his divorce settlement, he got from his wife a yearly payment of a hundred million dollars. That is part of their divorce settlement. <laughs> Wait, he gets paid a hundred million he, he, dollars from from his ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. No. Bye, bye, Mike. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, so <laughs> and we still got this EU commission investigation yeah, to come up and want to see oh, how that, that's, that's what not kind gonna, of negotiator you really No, 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 that's that's all going to get settled uh, uh, behind closed doors. We know that for sure. Yeah, but some stuff will leave. Yeah, if if Bernie like if Bernie thinks that he has a play just because he's still like that that was his way of saying that like yo, we still have we still got some teeth. We got we got some fight back with this uh, EU commission. But that's never going to go through. Chimp, it's never going to go through because fangs. because clearly the the manufacturers got what they wanted. All right. Mm. The sport is still in control of the manufacturers. That we know already, and it's going to be so until 2020. But what Bernie did get out of it is <laughs> what he managed to negotiate uh, Were the was plans for the Death Star. <laughs> that's what it seems like. Yeah. yeah, almost. Well, no, not really. Actually, oh. he st- he still got some commercial streams. So did you apparently- just ruin Star Wars for me? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's like old. Star Wars is old Star. Wars. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, death Star is old Star. Wars. There was in fact two Death Stars. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Sorry, but <laughs> anyway, um, 
so two things that that he managed to get out of it uh, is going to be, and you know, on the surface of it, you'd think it's like, oh, they're just like, you know, oh fuck, a, a dying sport's last breath of yeah. trying to like catch up with the youth. <laughs> um, but so what, what's going to happen is ever, after every race or uh, during every uh, race yeah. week, uh, race day, there's going to be a vote for uh, driver of the race or driver of the day. Mm-hmm. You're gonna you're gonna be able to like pick the driver of the day over social media and uh, there's also going to be a trophy for uh, pit stops right for best pit stop or quickest pit stop Whoa. that's comes, something that has actually been really intense in the last few years yeah, but it comes, like, comes with absolute, four seconds to three to sub two second comes with so absolutely no monetary reward just more than like a pat to the back uh, to, to, to the engineers like, but to them even to them like, yeah, like sure. uh, it, it, no to them it doesn't matter like mm. they don't like they, um, Sky Sky Sports used to do that right like they did that all of last year or no the yeah. year before where they presented a, a pit stop trophy and like yeah. the pit guys were like <laughs> like sometimes like they'd ask him live be like you know what, what does this trophy mean to you and they 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 outright be like not much really i mean <laughs> other than other than we did well i guess um but <laughs> but if if you actually go like into like the implications of what these two things can mean is that eventually that could be another revenue stream for bernie because he could he could for example say like oh he he could sell it to uh to some sort of um uh, a sponsor to like say like hey dhl do you want to call it the dhl driver of the day or the dhl pit stop trophy you know what i mean and that's just like so bernie and bernie gets all that money it's yeah. up to bernie to like find that <laughs> that revenue stream and he will you know what i mean like he, like he like it could be like the uh uh freaking shell oil driver of the day but just as much as it could be uh the i don't know airbnb driver of the day so something like that like what, what nascar does <laughs> What? Yeah, I guess it's a it's a mixture of that and the fan boost from Formula E type thing. Yeah, uh, without the actual boost. The the I mean, obviously the mechanics are like they're not gonna mind that you know that they're, they're getting a, a bit of a spotlight with this pit stop trophy, but it's not yeah, really sure. gonna mean anything more than like you know a transitory like hey cool yeah. But you know that like it's just gonna be a money maker. They change the tires a tenth of a second faster than everybody else. This year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It does kind of give some sort of recognition, more so to pit crews. It, it's it yeah, yeah. It, it it brings maybe a bit more of a spotlight. But that is that is kind of what Sky uh, tried to do at the very beginning when they took over the British coverage. Um, I don't I don't know if you remember, but the first year they kind of uh, tried to like bring a spotlight and try to make. Um, almost like celebrities of the mechanics and stuff like that. But <laughs> then they interview this these mechanics, and they're all like from like deep within England. You know what I mean? Like they, they just yeah. have like that, like they, yeah, that like 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 you know like their family very... just been fixing cars for a hundred years, and <laughs> <laughs> they're deep. They're from deep within the Midlands, and they have that. They sound like they are. Um, s- so they kind of quit yeah, that. Like, don't, I don't, I don't, don't know if you give remember. a shit about Twitter, basically, <laughs> or, or Sky TV. But it, it never materialized into something, right? Like it's, a, it's yeah. a, they they kind of tried to bring a spotlight to to the mechanics, and then it, that kind of died down. Mm. Maybe that's just because you know it's it's the way the sport is. It's yeah, not. They got to narrow really, down. Like Ted Ted talks to like two or three guys that he's buddies with. Yeah. If he bumps into them on his segment, but that's really it. Yeah, there's like there's gonna be like one or two that are like kind of popular, but they're not like. To the teams, like even even when we were looking about uh, l- looking into this, a lot of the teams hire the mechanics as um, part time contractors. Mm, yeah, sure. so that they can get away with like many 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 loopholes. Like remember when, when we were looking up the mechanics at Lotus, a bunch of them are just like under like these like like temporary contracts. Oh my they're, god, they're they're kind of expendable. Right, <laughs> like they're right. <laughs> they're not like. It, it's gotten to that point. For Maybe in the past it used to be that the mechanics were like a big deal and like you had like a sweet mechanic, but now that's sort of moved away from that and now you're talking about there's a star lead designer, uh, you know, James Allison, uh, Adrian Newey. There's no like star mechanics. There can't be really. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not, that's not what, it's reflective too of the auto industry. That's not what the auto industry is about anymore. Right. It's like robots, robots are making their cars. Robots. Robots, <laughs> you know what I mean. It's not. Yeah. It's not the mechanics. Yeah, right. It's not yeah, gonna be absolutely. like the, like how it used to be. Like how like somebody like the the guy that I think the the guy that started Pininfarina, the uh, the famous um, style house for Ferrari. Yeah, 
they do Ferrari and other things. But anyway, like it's just, like he was like he was just really good at like like banging like plates of metal to like into like nice sweet forms. Right. But you don't need that anymore. Nah, you nah. like you have like uh, you a composites robots. department that has like, automation. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. How do has automation CNC machines? Going back to Bernie though, best this, in the world. This this is a big big blow for bernie and uh one of the things yeah. that i think I, I briefly mentioned the last time um that it was significant that it happened in geneva and not in paris for example where the where these things usually happen because that's in paris is where uh the fia is based out of uh, the place de la concorde um mm -hmm. that's where the concord agreement names anyway, mm -hmm. etc um it wasn't in paris now I don't know if you remember, but like I, I quickly like got on the phone one time for like a few minutes with this guy that's the Canadian. Um, he, he's 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 a Canadian lawyer that is part of the FIA uh, International Court of Appeals. Mm. So like these right. are these are guys that would event if if it came down to arbitration or like to legal settlement, any of the troubles in F one, these would be the the judges and the like the the legal panel that they have to explain their sides or whatever. Anyway, I was shouldn't, shouldn't say his name in case we get to. Right, yeah. Whatever. Uh, uh, whatever. I I talked to him very briefly about uh, what it uh, what it came down to, like you know how how these things like happen in a very very general terms. He was he was gracious enough to accommodate me in his in uh, in his free time. Um, Meanwhile, he works probably for the FIA for like three hundred four hundred dollars an hour. He, uh, no, dude, more than that. Maybe more, yeah. way more than that. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> he's one of those yeah. old old famous yeah. lawyers. Um, he's worked on like five or six Olympic games, oh, etc. Yeah, et cetera, yeah he's he's been in. He's, he's actually world, like couple World Cups. He's deliberated on uh, trials for uh, uh, NHL doping scandals and shit like oh, that. Shit. Yeah, this guy's a big deal. Yeah. So, <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Yeah. So when I talked to him, what he, a world anti-doping agency. Uh, one one of the things that uh, that I really found curious is that he was it, when I, when I asked him like, so yeah, like yo, how do, how does this happen? Like you're basically like an on call lawyer, like when something like this blows up and they have to take it to arbitration, they basically call you and you gotta go and like jump in a plane and go to like go to somewhere and stay there until like things are resolved. And like he said, like yeah, basically, and <laughs> and and, and, and um, it's usually in Paris, uh, but then I was like, oh, like they but. They like they just fly you to Paris and like whatever and like that's it. He's like, no, it doesn't have to be in Paris. It usually is in Paris because that's where the FIA right, is based, and then it's kind of like uh, easy for everybody. But and he said this very crucially. He said, but sometimes we go somewhere else to say Geneva or Italy or something if there are specific circumstances that granted as in if you know if it's if it's you know more of an of 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 a uh, if the circumstances warrant it some something like that i, I, I don't want to put it like i don't want to say that that's exactly what he said but that that was his implication that he meant that like if if there were special circumstances for it they go they could go somewhere else you know if it was convenient more convenient for this party or for the other whatever but now Based on that, the fact that they went to Geneva actually is important. This stuff didn't get uh, settled in Paris. They would they would have loved to go to Paris, but Paris, the FIA buildings, that is not like it's clearly not neutral grounds anymore. Mm. They had to go to Geneva to seek neutral grounds. They weren't gonna go in the, to London because that would be that's Bernie's, uh, Bernie's backyard. Back, yeah, yeah. They weren't gonna go to Thank Paris you. because that's Jean Todd. They weren't gonna mm -hmm. go to Italy because that would be Marchionis. Yeah, Ferrari yeah. with the veto. They had to go. They had to seek neutral ground, and that is. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> to to, to Way settle up these in the mountains. <laughs> to settle seek these negotiations. Refuge back in the mountains. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's. But but you know, <laughs> as we know now, uh, Marchione is winning. Bernie got a bit of money out of all this uh, with. Um, uh, uh, with these nonsense of uh, voting for a driver of the day and uh, and 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 the other pit stop stuff, um, and and we'll see. But I think that this is part of a bigger saga that's going on. This mm. is there, there. This is there's there's powers of play going on right now, um, in the way that F one is being run and 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 the way that F one works. I um I don't know if like you guys remember, but like last year I started like one of the first things that we did was a spotlight on the F one strategy group. Yeah. And one of, of the things that we that we basically concluded is that it was stupid, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and and it really like 
there, there's there's nothing good that could come out of it. And if it did, like it's not gonna it's not gonna work to to, to save the sport Whatever. the way they, they yeah the way that they not want for it. Everybody. Mm. And right now, what we're seeing is a slow unraveling of that idea of the F1 strategy group because the F1 strategy group was basically brought about by Bernie so he could like find some sort of way to like still pretend to be democratic but um still at the end like try to like fight the teams and try to like regain control over F1 um it didn't work it yeah. hasn't it hasn't worked and and what happened just now really really showed to everybody that and that bernie does not have control over f1 not the way that he used to he not, has some yeah. control over f1 but not the way that he used to and he's he's even he's tried he tried his hardest to claw it back and no. mark unit was like nope nope <laughs> maybe we should show you a graphic <laughs> you pull up <laughs> no yeah no. <laughs> That, that that could be, but it's Some original it's, F1 artwork. It's true. I think I I can see the F1 strategy group either fading into irrelevance uh, in 2016 or just dissolving into something else. They're gonna turn it mm. into something else because it's right now. Like Bernie thought that with the strategy group, maybe he was he was gonna have a chance to grab these guys by the balls and like say like yeah, this is what we're gonna do, <laughs> and he hasn't been able to. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. And. Force India is one of the teams that brought this case to the EU. But on presumably under Bernie's auspices, you know, presumably, allegedly, allegedly. maybe, allegedly. I don't know. We'll see how it unfolds. I don't think. I don't think there's anything. Honestly, just the way because this basically all got settled. They're not. Um, so what was supposed to happen is that if nothing came out of these meetings in Geneva, um, they were gonna basically do a round two of that. Um, at the end of January with Bernie and Todd just being like this is what we're going to do it's right. not going to get to that because they agreed mm -hmm. the fact that they agreed uh, in Geneva that these were the terms that means that the other meeting is not going to happen because it's already been sorted out and it means that everybody at least agreed that that is how F1 is going to continue until 2020 for the, for the, for the near future this is how it's, F1 is going to be mm. right now Bernie has like a clear mandate to try like he's 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 gonna try to do whatever he can to claw power but but it's not gonna be like it's he's left with very few tools to do so if I can put it that way. You know what I mean? He he can only like extract money so many uh, ways and he's gonna be forced to give it to the manufacturers just like he has been. His strings have been cut. Yeah. yeah. If I could put it that way. <laughs> I like you wanna, that. You wanna, you wanna quickly like like put that image up. I think it's 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 oh, a pretty. It's, it's uh, oh, you guys can't see it. Hold on. I just have it on the main page. <laughs> uh, sorry guys, I don't have it. No worries. That's all right. It's on the thumbnail. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> the strings have been cut, Bernie. Yes. <laughs> Give that a ring, ring bow. <laughs> <laughs> And um, I think, other than that, it's definitely going to be a topic to watch uh, throughout the year uh, to to see what 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 Bernie's actually going to get up to. Uh, I really do hope that he keeps. He realizes that the focus now is going to be on trying to put the content out there uh, the, as best he can mm -hmm. uh, using the new media, mm -hmm. because honestly, like this this is probably this this loss of power uh, from Bernie didn't come for no reason it was right. clearly um marchione and the, the the car manufacturers are probably saying listen like the, the winning argument was probably like listen you still not haven't proven that you can manage the new media you right. haven't you haven't <clears throat> been able to we not even close yeah even but close. but, but you got a little bit crazy with that extra engine bullshit yeah uh, but the car manufacturers have like you could say that they are like somewhat successful at, mm -hmm. and they, like, that, that maybe they understand social media and the new media and in the internet oh, age absolutely. a little more than Bernie. Well, they Thanks. would, they would oh, have yeah. to especially red bull red bull oh, yeah. red bull have you ever been to red bull's youtube page it's amazing yeah you can be entertained for hours it's nothing but ridiculousness like yeah. the most extreme things you've ever seen they jumped from space and whatever the list goes on most of the teams have social media covered look at like for ferrari's 
car unveiling they have hundreds or thousands of people involved like stuck for weeks trying to win a uh, chance just to get one of the first and, 10 people to see it. and man this is what uh even like a seasoned veteran nobody even knows when the race is starting you know? <laughs> True. Because, of Ber- because of bernie people yeah. should know australia is coming mm-hmm. march 21st absolutely yeah but yeah, this is this is what i mean like, this, this is why people Sorry. um like you know seasoned journalist Joe Sayward say that maybe, maybe it's actually a good thing that the manufacturers are in control of F1. Right. Maybe it right. is. Manor. 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 MRT. What? No longer manure this year, I believe. Yeah, I believe MRT Mercedes. I don't know. There's uh <laughs> they really want to distance themselves from that matter name. <laughs> no, 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 I think I think there's uh, a little bit more to it than that. It goes back to Mr. Ecclestone. Okay. So I think um Manor they changed their name to MRT Mercedes, I believe. This is this is speculation, but what the f- <laughs> I accidentally made a phone call on my telephone just now by with my <laughs> with my elbow. <laughs> Sorry, uh, yeah, I think they're called the MRT Mercedes this year. Okay, um, it's kind of weird. I think there was sort of like a hint that I read that Manor was kind of forced or asked or coerced by Bernie mm-hmm. to change their name to MRT to the abbreviation because for some reason there was some sort of story swirling around that he doesn't like teams without a lot of heritage. To have a proper name, which is why. Do you remember there was? What I think in. Thing to say. Yeah. I believe I, I forget if it was two thousand nine or the ten. Ramblings of a madman. Yeah, there were there <laughs> were the, the two new teams joined around two thousand nine, ten, eleven, in around their Caterham and Hispania racing team. Hispania came back as HRT. Right. Right, and I believe there was pressure, but they didn't succumb to it to rename. Caterham to CRT or CHT or something like that. What? Yeah, so I, I believe this is what happened to Manor. They have a new logo. Um, it's somewhere in that show links if you want to pull it up, which kind of leaked early. But apparently on February 22nd, they're going to sort of like release their whole new brand slash car slash logo slash everything. What? And also, like last week, we talked about Ferrari, um, them taking from Ferrari, Ferrari's chief aerodynamicist, chief aero director, and now Pat Fry. We have news this week, right? Who was I think expelled from Ferrari is a little different. He wasn't <laughs> taken from Ferrari. <laughs> Pat he came Fry, from man. Pat Fry came from Ferrari, but I, uh, I believe there he was. I don't know, kicked out or yeah. something. Well, Pat, I can. <laughs> 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 basically they didn't know they didn't know what to do with bad fry all right to ship him to manor <laughs> yeah he that's was ba- as, that's as good a demotion as you've ever whoa, seen in whoa. life <laughs> jesus jesus christ what are you doing man i don't know you know kinds of it's too many jesus christ. too many Any, computers and stuff yeah. anyway okay but um <laughs> pat fry though he was you know that he, he basically was brought um to ferrari by Alonso, He's, by Alonso, yeah, it's 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 what originally, he, yeah, he was, oh, okay, he was in McLaren, right? Um, the thing is that okay, so uh, let me just uh, show you here. So this is this is Pat Fry. Uh, it's highlighted right now. Yeah, I, re- I know his face. He's got. Uh, he, but let's put it on the screen, man. Yeah, let's pull him up. <laughs> Google up, Google up, Pat Fry. He he kind of looks. I like, already got it. He looks a bit like uh, Arriva Bene, a little bit. He's got the sort of the, the greasy slicked hair. He, he's got he's got an uh, he's got an under aside from the glasses. Nothing, nothing to do with that. But he's got a bit. He's he's he looks like an uncle. He's got he's the that, same that, that, Yeah, that's somebody. So that's that guy's somebody's uncle, right? <laughs> Over here to the right. And yeah, some uh, other guy. That's uncle. him on the right side. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um. He was brought, like I said, he was brought into Ferrari uh, by Alonso when Alonso basically when when Alonso came to Ferrari, he was given the same kind of terms that uh, Michael Schumacher was in, in kind of similar terms uh, yeah. where basically like come to Ferrari 
name your price. Uh, bring, like, bring whomever. Who do you want? Like, who who from the grid do you think that you're gonna be working with? And uh, Alonso had just come from McLaren, where uh, Pat Fry worked at. So now Pat Fry, the thing about it, is that like he's he was he was supposed to be he was supposed to be a design genius, the design genius um, <laughs> that worked, for example, on this um, uh, car, the. Uh, it, Actually, several McLaren cars that were almost title winners, not as not 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 necessarily there, but they were in the race. Like, look at this one. Do you remember that? You remember this car? That was when Juan okay, Pablo yeah. Montoya, Montoya was. Yeah, yeah, when Montoya was in in his McLaren years with the uh, waviness, the wavy cars. His teammate Kimi Raikkonen. Some say that right. the best years of Raikkonen was. When he was driving this car, and this car looks, it looks, it looks he mean, right? Young and hungry. You know, yeah. You know who he worked with though? Young and hungry. A, a McLaren designed this car. Um, Adrian Newey. So he was he was working with Adrian Newey designing this car. And now, uh, yeah, pull up, pull up the that other, uh, the second one. He also designed, or he was involved in the design team for. Remember this one, Louis Louis's car. Yeah, I remember those the front <laughs> brake ducts. Yeah, you see those on the outside, Mike. You see yeah. those? Yeah, that looks insane. <laughs> <laughs> Outlawed. Yeah. yeah, and then Not, no longer allowed. And then the next one over. Uh, that's uh, the other. Yeah, that that this crazy Whoa. this city. this cool. was the ridiculous yeah. time. No, no. I this like is when that. they went mad on wings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> around these years. Mad on wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, it, anyway, but yeah, it was. It, so he he was involved in, in the design team of these cars. Now this is, they had so much downforce, they had to add those grooves in the tire to limit the downforce. Yeah, because it was like there's too much to limit enough. the grip yeah. on the <laughs> to limit yeah. the grip on the car because the wing. Look at the wings. <laughs> Just look, look at, at that. Look at the it could probably wing. take off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> are, so these are these like are these? Those like, are wings inside wings inside wings, man. And they, they're yeah. just like kind of like sitting on on the sides. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's probably all one piece of. How did they not carbon generate fiber. lift? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> no, <it's, laughs> those are turning push, veins. They I know. Per- I, I understand that, but it no, looks these, like it could take off. The, these cars at their normal uh, driving speed, if they had full slicks on, would get glued to the to to the floor, man. The car- yeah, these cars could drive upside down. The cars now could as well. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> the cars now could as well, but these, these could probably do it slower. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a total ridiculous time. But anyway, yeah, Mr. Fry. Um, so Pat Fry, I think I think some people, uh, because he worked with these cars and they were like they were so they were, they were this man. Mm-hmm. Uh, People thought, oh, he must be <laughs> some sort of design genius in the same way that uh, people thought that Nui must be some sort of a design genius. So uh, Nui, uh, Nui went to Red Bull <laughs> to create uh, four, four world, championships. world championship cars and Bafrai went to Ferrari to create four <laughs> sub To ruin Fernando Alonso's career. Cars. <laughs> so, yeah, he's... he's uh, when Alonso left Ferrari, he clearly like had no more need for Pat Fry, obviously. So he 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 didn't like you know he it's not like he brought him back to my to McLaren. Um, Pat, Pat Fry stayed at Ferrari, and I guess he's he's still a smart guy. Like he still can you smart know smart enough for manner. He's he's smart enough <laughs> Sorry for, for MRT yeah. McLaren. <laughs> <laughs> so so that's his that's his deal. That's that that's that, that's where he comes from. So just to uh, an addendum to that story today at testing or I guess yesterday. <clears throat> The, a man named Jacques Clear. Remember we talked a couple of weeks ago about there was some sort of controversy about uh, engineers moving around and stealing some USB sticks full of data? <laughs> yeah. So this man named Jacques Clear moved to Ferrari this year from Mercedes. And uh, he was in 2013 and 14 was Lewis Hamilton's personal performance engineer. So I assume each driver has their own performance engineer and they work directly with each driver so uh, nico would have his own mm-hmm. but uh because they don't like to share right but <laughs> this one this guy wasn't exactly stolen as i guess traded he's an engineer to ferrari but he was forced by mercedes mm-hmm. to he was paid but he served the 2015 years year on a gardening leave a 
gardening leave. Yeah, they let him go for. Uh, he said he was going to go home and garden, so that he could to limit the amount of data he could take to Ferrari from Mercedes about right. their car. So yeah, that's the whole the whole circle, I guess. And uh, Manners got Pat Fry and another Ferrari dude, the chief aero guy we talked about last week. There's a whole restructuring, and, th- and this started obviously with the leaving of um, uh, Graham Lowden and John Booth. Right. Uh, number one and number two. Yeah, or yeah, number number two and number one. Actually. You, you got to wonder now if there was whole, all planned to begin with, if they had other jobs lined up, or if they made no- they gave notice of their resignation. I don't I, think they just like said "fuck you guys, we're leaving now." No, those guys are those guys are fighters. I don't. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna they're gonna go down so easily. Mm. Yeah. I think I think they they might come back to F one, just not necessarily next year. Maybe maybe a couple of years down the line. It's the same way that Gunther did with Haas. Gunther was out of F one for a couple of years, and then he came back. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and uh, as far as Manners' driver lineup, mm-hmm. we know now they've signed Rio Harianto. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his money lined up. He's got his money locked down, and uh, he's ready to make the jump. I so guess he's Malaysian, right? He's gonna be fly. Uh, he's gonna be racing on the Malaysian, Indonesia, Indonesia. Indonesia. Sorry, Indonesia. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. The actually, world's most popular is uh, Muslim country. It is true. I, yeah. I would assume from that fact that he is Muslim and one of the first he is he is he's the first he's got, modern Muslim driver he's got, we he's, about he's, before he's got the uh, when he races now in his Formula 3 car he has a verse from the Quran like on on, the, on his Arabic cockpit on like in his side. cockpit yeah true so there you go <laughs> he actually he's been racing for a virgin and Marusha since 2010 I think GP3 and he was teammates with um, what's his name Max Chilton Max Chilton when he drove for Marusha and actually participated in a young driver's test in 2012. So he's he's had his super license. Mm-hmm. You need part one of the big requirements to get a super license is to have 300 kilometers in the F1 car, I believe, which he's got okay. from a practice day. Yeah. So he's ready to go. He's ready to race. Yes, he's going to be at So who's going to be his teammate? That you know? I don't even know if it's 100. percent Is it Rossi? Like, are we still talking about Rossi? Like, I think, maybe coming. I think Rossi is may up in the air between Rossi, Mary. He, Mary won't be driving. Of course not. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's not Mary. And 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 British folk out there, it's not gonna be Will Stevens. Trust me, Will Stevens wasn't that great. I don't think it as was. As much as you want to say that he Will was Stevens. maybe a little great, no, he wasn't. He wasn't great. <laughs> I think it might be Rossi because. But I don't know. Now the Austin, Austin, Grand, Austin Grand Prix is up in the air, right? It's a lot of bad news from America again. I think, okay, Bernie was quoted as saying that if he, like, if he had any like worries about uh, the U.S. Grand Prix making it back, and he said no, he he was basically like, yeah, we're we're gonna, we're going to Austin this year. Yeah. And I, so I think I think it's in at least in you know secret negotiations or whatever like stuff that's not being publicly disclosed yet it's a fact the the u.s grand prix is happening it j- they just can't announce it probably to ward off some uh creditors mm. or <laughs> evil spirits <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah um we're still on for Baku, though, right? Like, Baku's still happening, even though, like, now Azerbaijan is going through a huge crisis because of the oil price. Let's come back because there's a bunch of races up in the air. Let's, <laughs> do, let's do a topic about this. Cool. Yeah. Rio Hariante. Right. Segway. Baku. So. It's. It's. Okay. It's. The country right now. Is suffering immensely. The, the, Azerbaijan. Yeah, Azerbaijan. Yeah. Even though they had a lot of money, like enough money to like pretend to be Europe, Europe. <laughs> <laughs> also, the European Grand Prix and the European, uh, um, the European Games or whatever earlier last year. Um, now it seems like the money taps are kind of <laughs> being closed down because oil is so cheap, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so you got you got Saudi Arabia. Like a demented animal, just <laughs> pumping the black stuff all over the world. Like it was nothing. Like it was fucking toilet paper. Yeah. Just, just don't worry about it. We got oil. Take like a few, have it. Take have a few it. extra rolls. Have it. It doesn't matter. 
what's what's your niece's name? Yeah, yeah, she can have a barrel. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that has driven the price of oil now to the lowest it has been since maybe the post-war era, maybe the Cold War, right? At it, least uh, 2002 or so. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like 28 bucks or something. It's, it's Depends re- what type. So I, don't, I don't fully understand, but I, I vaguely do about like the Barrick. Or, sorry, not Barrick. That's gold. Uh, like the Brent crude oh, and, and the West, the, Texas, and the West Texas Intermediate and the the whatever Eastern Sweet crude or all that kind of shit. Yeah. <laughs> there's, I guess, there's variances in what you can distill from each type of. No, no, no. Those are those are just trading indices. Uh, they, like uh, the, just the West, the West the re- regionalized names. Uh, I guess the market, the market. It's, it, they're, they're talking about like the market where it's being traded. So even though, for example, West Texas is no longer like in the global scale. Uh, a significant oil producer, like they, like they, yeah, they have oil, they, they have oil. They produce, but they keep a lot of it. I think now. Either, US, either either way, it's not U.S. energy independence. It's it's not as big as Venezuela, for example. It's not as big as as uh, even it's not it's uh, like West Texas yeah. is not as big as Azerbaijan, for example, in terms of oil production. Um, right. But it's still one of the principal places where oil gets traded and that says the industry and there's a, there's a few other uh, other places that that kind of like send the price but either way what, whatever whatever it is it's so low right now that the country of azerbaijan because its economy was primarily fueled by <laughs> ironically oil so export. fuel um, <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> like <laughs> really uh they're now they're now in, in a bind they they're they're a dead ridden country quickly quickly spiraling out of control. By the time that we make it there, who knows what's like? Who knows how the country is gonna be? Man, there could be an uprising by the time that we're in Baku. Hilarious. I tweeted <laughs> I tweeted this picture the other day, which is two things on on the same day. Basically, Azerbaijan made a public assurance through the world media that yeah. they have the money. The race is gonna happen. Don't worry about it. Yeah. This is the European Grand Prix. It's happening. And at the same time, what people were fearing and what kind of, uh, at least like Nico Hockenberg was pissed off about, he couldn't race in the Le Mans race because it would be interfering. It's on the same weekend. It's still it's still the same day. Right. But uh, he's not going to be able to. The schedu- Nobody, the no S- F1 drivers are going to be able to. The scheduling is as such that the qualifying is supposed to be ending before the race starts and the race is supposed to start after the checkered flag of the Le Mans race. So the Baku race is supposed to start. And yeah, as, as but we had speculated... Nico Hulkenberg is not going to be no, able he's to not fly, gonna, he's not gonna fly from, from no. Paris. Or, yeah, yeah, we know, need from, those from virgin, to, virgin yeah. space planes. <laughs> but this is the main, the main point I had, at least with this tweet, this is the Maidens Tower. That's the old, old walled city of Azerbaijan. Uh, we speculated late, earlier in the year, at least, that Perhaps Abu Dhabi had some sort of lockdown on sunset races since it was a badass right. idea and there was right. theirs was the only one. Apparently not. Baku, Azerbaijan is going to be a sunset race. Huh. Oh. It's starting. Yeah, it's starting at sunset and complete finishing in the dark. The track's going to be lit. So that's wow. going to be cool. that's going to be some cool. that's going to be, be kind of badass. it's going to be local time for us too. We can do we can we can watch this one live. Oh yeah, it's probably close to ten hours, ten eleven hours, uh, ten hours. Uh, well, it'll Time be a difference. Like, but yeah, it should be. We should be able to. Nice. I yes. think so. Baddies. Baddies. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. gonna be. It's gonna be very late in Europe, so it should be midday for us. But yeah. The po- the point of it, and who knows if that had to, was originally the plan, but was is to start the race after Le Mans finishes. Oh. And look badass. Doesn't that look cool? That's yeah. that's like their city square outside the that Maidens Tower is like four hundred years old or something. Holy shit! It looks over the whole city. Fair Maiden. That's pretty cool. That is pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Other courses. So Austin. I mean, we, we know we know that. Okay. I I want to say, <laughs> primarily because I want to go, but I want to say Austin is still on the calendar. Um, yeah. I these guys. So. Bernie says it's happening. These guys have you know they they probably already paid for everything, so the the local crisis is not affecting them. Circuit of this the Americas. Year no, uh, Baku oh, Azerbaijan no, no. because they they probably already have like all the contracts in place. Everything has already been paid for at least partly. At least half a year yeah. ago when we first, or or, or, or at first least part of it. What whatever whatever advanced deposits they needed on the fucking equipment and everything else, right. that's that's already been taken care of. So the race is happening this year. Future of that race still up in the air. 
still waiting to see what happens if world war if world war three starts uh in 2016 obviously this is not gonna happen right next time <laughs> <laughs> i mean maybe the year after maybe, yeah yeah wars uh, are pretty quick these days what what else okay are, are we still talking about monza being shit off the calendar no but we are talking about I Spa you, being shut off I the calendar. I told you the Italians. The Italians are not going to let Monza. And mm-hmm. it's it's kind okay, of like the only like gun that Bernie has. Like if 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 they if the Italians don't want to pay, Bernie can be like, all right, we'll take you off the calendar. And then they will pay because there's no way Ferrari will not have a home race. Mm. Uh, basically, today, about uh, I don't know, a handful of hours ago, this news came out. The contract for the Italian Grand Prix is set to be signed the final weekend of February. Okay. So, so I guess, down. or maybe the second, the, at, month at the end of February, probably just before testing. And uh, from the details I read, remember it when it was when they were at the race in Italy this year, Bernie was saying, this is never happening again. Nobody's here. <laughs> nobody cares. This, they need new facilities and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So apparently Italy, the government committed to some sort of facilities or track upgrade and that um, basically there's two contracts on the table a four year and a seven year so basically taking Monza to 2020 or 2023 and originally Bernie wanted I have the numbers 28 million dollars for hosting fees and it allegedly apparently from the news has been negotiated down to about 20 which is closer to what spa and spain pay for their hosting hmm. but going on off of that or l- 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 let's look at uh that other tweet first l- since we're talking about monza right now there's been a proposal the first Huerra grande to be <laughs> grande. to could, be could repaved grande. into an ex pista pirelli with a two and a half meter tall chicane at the end of it to bypass that corner. That was a track. That that's that's what that means. That was that, that was like an old Pirelli track that went like that. That was uh, yeah. There was a section of track that was used for tire testing. You see okay, the no, sh- you see the sharp corner on the right that curved. Yeah, yeah, back. yeah. It, it it went like that. And Whoa. then connected back to the original loop. Like that. Right down here. That was that was original. Oh shit! Yeah. I looked up Look the history that. of this. Yeah. That was used for uh, tire test tire testing. That's why it's called the Pirelli. Track. Right. Exactly. So the idea is to repave that. With that two and a half meter tall, or like a ten feet, ten foot tall chicane at the end of it, and reconnect to the Cueva Grande, which is one of the fastest corners in F1. Curva, wow. Cueva Grande. Grande. Yeah. But from what I read, apparently, the way that this track works is it used to be like a ridiculous. It's called the Temple of Speed. It used to be ridiculously fast. But if you look at the map in the bottom left, those chicanes, at least the first one there, never used to be there. Right. It used to be one big straight. So when motorcycles and endurance cars race here, they have to go through that chicane, and yeah. it's really tight, like kind of yeah, too yeah, tight yeah, yeah. for motorcycles to do that. Get a good lean on. Yeah. So the idea of this chicane for motorcycles and uh, endurance cars and certain other cars is to eliminate that first chicane, go straight through. Yeah, right there. Right, okay. Go straight through and then force them through the second chicane to slow them down before you get to the the second straight right, so you're not going okay. 400 by the time you reach right, the second okay. the third you came yeah like, that's insane right but there was also some quotes from um vettel that in the ferrari simulator they have this modeled already and he's driven it a whole shitload of times yeah so who knows and that might be part of the deal that um bernie negotiated with monza and in and the country of italy to host this race is add something tilky designed like like, like you said that'll that'll be a perfect spot for a joker lap yeah the joker (laughs) lap remember we were talking (laughs) yeah we're talking about (laughs) the uh rally x yeah it were rally cross yeah rally cross well x cross whatever um i lost a little one (laughs) what did you lose uh (laughs) <laughs> I, I don't but I don't, yeah, have, I don't I don't advocate throw some joker laps in F1 yeah, man yeah. you just put the you just paint that line like the pit lap where you come out of the pits <laughs> you stay in there everyone sees you coming and leave it safe. leave it like this don't even bother paving that just, just <laughs> leave like it off road <laughs> yeah well, it's like the secret it's like the secret path in I, any Mario Kart I actually level. really like yeah. come on I know that it, that it, it's one of those like pipe dreams that will never happen but I would love to see modern f1 cars just tearing it down the banking <laughs> like the old monza banking pull up a picture just look up monza 
banking. At least on a demonstration. Banking. Especially since they yeah. repaved it. They repaved yeah. it two years ago. Why? Like, Why did they yeah. repave it? That, that would be oh so sweet. God. This <laughs> you know? is insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was it's the like that's the old surfing. course. That's yeah. the old course. Yeah. Oh. Like look at that. What? That's yeah. like two stories. <laughs> yeah. It was ridiculous. It's the probably inspiration and, for modern NASCAR. And and if you originally. went like if you lost control of your car and while well, you were like you know at high speed around this and you could you could reach some you can high see speed. some skid marks there yeah. <laughs> look on the right side somebody lost control a few times the, the thing about it is like it's so unsafe because so let's say you lost control over here yeah. you'd keep sliding at the top to keep the momentum right oh, so like no. you'd be on somebody else's racing line and then all of a sudden you'd like cross down because of gravity so you'd get be like right in the middle of cars passing Oh it was super dangerous, was but come on, it looks look at so that. Cool. Look at that. It's like those. Uh, you ever see like those old uh, either YouTube videos or gifs, and it was like these people like almost like in a barrel, and it was like motorcycles. Or, oh like, yeah, there was like bears at, at the on circus. At the circus. <laughs> yeah. I've seen I've seen that in real life. Yeah, me too. What? More than once. Yeah. Oh yeah. Driving around oh, inside a steel ball. Yeah. 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 They need more of that. Two and three motorcycles. <laughs> they they look up no, and man, grab this is, hands. This, the, the, like these kind of pictures were the inspiration for something like a about freaking speed racer. The overhead, the the helicopter picture there. There you go. You can see the, originally they had a the big loop, and then they're just like nah. Yeah, like it went like that though. Like it, it, it okay. So they went up there, and then this. Yeah, they went, went kind of like, like oh yeah. Whoa. They went on the inside, then the outside, like, yeah. Almost like a figure eight, it crossed over. Fuck, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was really. That would cool. really. It was change really, really cool. a race. Oh man, and it, on top of like like Monza is already one of the longest tracks. Yeah. Make no mistake, the the shape is quite. It's it looks simple, but it's still huge. Yeah. So making it like this would put it in like freaking. Um, like almost uh, Silverstone territory, probably. Spa, so. like, yeah, yeah, cl closer or even uh, longer than Silverstone. But it would just be like, look at this. This would just be speed. Like, like yeah. whoever can get around this the fastest. Sweet, yeah. if, if you ask me. <laughs> hey, you just throw some sprinklers on the side. You got a whole different race. <laughs> come on, Bernie. Yeah, look, look at that bridge. No, no, come on, come on, come on uh, to the right there. It's like it's basically vertical. That's a wall. Yeah. No, but the, there were cars here, man. Boom. And if you look two to the left, that's how it looked very recently. Two photos to the left of that, above, right to the right one. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Yeah, right below that. Yeah. That's how it looked very recently. In With moss. Yeah, but they they got Jesus money together Christ. and repaved the no, whole click, thing. Click that again. Click that again. In the, about <laughs> two years ago, I think they oh, repaved. Oh no, never it. mind. I don't even know what happened. I think it showed a picture of Lewis going down the banking. He got to but drive. Remember, he got never, to drive it with Sterling Moss or something. Yeah, yeah, Sterling Moss's car. Yeah. They would yeah. never put something like this in F one. <sighs> you know, because they're pussies. Not anymore. There's a fucking. There's we, we we are living right now in an era of the great pussification of the world. The world, <laughs> man. Everything's got to be fucking. I saw a great argument the other day. It was a photograph from the late fifties or early sixties of Monza, and then compared to now and how it looks, safety. The, the overhead bridge is different. Sorry, sorry, not Monza. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Monaco. Yeah. But how dangerous it was. People standing on the side of the track, any of these photographs. Mm -hmm. And somebody's somebody's argument was, yeah, we've put, been pussified. <laughs> Nobody should have to die at a sporting event. But at the same time, that shit happens you don't regardless. have to stand beside the track. There's something yeah. called personal responsibility. You understand the risks of what yeah, you're doing guys. and accept them. Yeah. Guys, be smart. What did I say? Yeah. 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 One yeah. of the I last. Be this, smart. This is why I love MMA so much. Yeah. I'm not gonna get into it again, but this is one of the last vestiges of real fearlessness and ridiculousness. Is Absolutely. getting in a cage with a man and fight him until somebody falls asleep. Right. Until somebody's I mean, brain turns <laughs> off. That's that's. Isn't like part of the reason why they get paid so much? Like these drivers get paid so much is that it is dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. Right. And, as it, well. and, 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 and it requires enormous skill. Yeah. Right, enormous skill. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Like pod racing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Or building a Death Star. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Looking at you, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> like I wouldn't be surprised that when like if, if when Bernie dies and like like all his like like his carcass starts like get eaten by worms, all you get <laughs> all you all, all that remains is something like that. <laughs> the Terminator head right there. <laughs> yeah. no, on your speaker. <laughs> 
Sí. Sticking on, sticking on this topic, though, yeah. we still have for 2016 on the official calendar 21 races. The That's Concord so weird, Agreement man. says 20. Yeah. You, we talked about this a few months ago, and you're adamant that you believe Spa was next on the chopping block. It was. Yeah. I saw an article this it's week. It's so I couldn't sad, fu- I couldn't man. find a link, but why? it why might you, still be. Why would you compromise Spa? Like, you can't. You have to take. <sighs> yeah. Spa yeah, is not a great a, place. Gotta take a deep breath. Yeah. Yeah. Spa is the British. It's Belgian. No, Belgian. 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 Oh, Rouge, the big hill. It's, okay. it's, it's the it's longest of, track. It's, it's, the, it's over the last. Seven kilometers. It's the last vestiges of, of old F1. I mean, even though the track has been changed and it's not as long as it used to be, it's still the it's longest. It's still the longest one. So and it's, over it's still seven got kilometers. some of the badassest corners in F1. And, and the straights and just the. Just where they go, man. They go and race in the middle of the Arden Forest. It's beautiful around there. It's not. It's only t- today. Mm. It's only for the fans. You don't go there to host a business meeting like you would uh, w- with your sponsors yeah, like in, yeah, in Monaco. Or oh, yeah, or, yeah, Monaco Mon- or Montreal or Monaco. Yeah, you, any, you of, any of the city- there's, there's no casino. Races well, there is like a small city. casino, but it's like a casino like there would be in a small town. Right. You, know, you know what I mean? Like a Some couple slot slots. Machines, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, no spa you go there because you go to race mm. and it's a challenge for the drivers and they love it because it's actually like one of the last true tracks everyone almost everyone's staying there's camping but because right. there's no money in it mm. yeah. bernie wants to chop it off and like there's there, that has to be stopped mm. and, and if this is something that the manufacturers are going to stop like this this ridiculous like wanting to wanting to get rid of like the actual important races in favor for whoever like the ne- the, the the biggest bidder is, then I applaud that. Mm. You know what I mean? Then I'm on board, because because Spa needs to stay. The, the, it's, this shouldn't be a discuss. This shouldn't even be open to discussion. You know what I mean? That's what they said yeah. about the NHL Nordiques, uh, the Quebec Nordiques. Oh really? And then they got chopped. Shit. But there's talks of bringing them back. So. I feel it's just one of those. It wasn't like the most marketable team. Quebec uh, doesn't have a hockey team. Well, they have Montreal. Montreal, yeah. Uh, but they used to also have Quebec a provin- City, a provincial team. Oh, Quebec right, City. Right, right. So yeah. they used to have two, and then they moved, I believe, to Colorado. Oh, crazy. And then they became Rockies. The, the, the Rockies, right? Um, Avalanche. Avalanche. Oh, I don't know fuck all about hockey. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. But yeah, but it was like one of those older teams that you're like, why would you get rid of this? Like, I know it's kind of the suffering, but I mean, like. The East Coast is like, like there's a lot of need and want for hockey, right. but there's just not a lot. If, if Bernie was in charge, teams. they'd have to change the name to the KN or the KH, yeah. the KHT, <laughs> the Quebec hockey team. Q QHT. Well, there's there's talks now of adding like a Las Vegas well, team. I'm saying it. We have fresh. we have a similar Bernie San, uh, Bernie Sanders, uh, Bernie Ecclestone Q- in the uh, QHT. What? QHT. Um. <laughs> There's there, there, there's an NHL Bernie, <laughs> um, hilarious. His name is kind of escaping me now, but uh, yeah, he's kind of he's, he was kind of a dick because there was a few lockouts in the NHL, yeah, right? And it was just kind of a lot of back and forth of bullshit. Yeah, and they actually uh, didn't play for a year. Yeah, or two. a year, and then uh, at, at another time, a few years later, for half a year. That is so weird. That would, yeah, see, it was see, super that, weird. That that wouldn't happen in F one. That couldn't happen because. Mm-hmm. Then it just it would be too unsustainable. That's a that's a point. That's what, and it's so fucked that for some of the negotiations and and why they've they've gone through with with Bernie and whatever is that F one needs to carry on just for its sake. It needs to happen. If it doesn't happen, then like if 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 so much as all, like if all the teams, for example, if all the teams, what is everybody in every feeder series racing for? If yeah, there's no Formula One. Exactly. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. GP two, GP three, no. Formula two, Formula three, Formula four. But just all, everything that Renault is at 3. stake, five, man. V eight challenge. There IndyCar. is just so much at stake. That go karts. What are you if, racing if, a go kart for? There's if no all the teams even missed even one race, the whole system would go the way of Dodo. You know what I mean? Like it would. Yeah. It's just it 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 would go belly up. Nothing would be sustainable. Like thereafter, the teams wouldn't make the money that they'd have to. The 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 promoters would 
geschafft etc 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 it's so fucked and but keeping f1 going on just for the <laughs> sake of it shouldn't be the primary motivator i don't believe that's that's even a question because there's still many countries vying to hold a race argentina Three days ago. Yeah, but if you ask me, I'm, I'm of the opinion that there should be 30 races a year. Why not? Why not? But yeah. the teams don't want it. The teams don't want well, it. Fuck they the teams. Tra- they don't want to travel that much. <laughs> well, yeah, you do more and more back-to-back. You get the time off. Everybody else works all, every, all year. You get like four weeks off or six weeks vacation. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's probably the world yeah, average. Yeah, you want to yeah, you wanna keep your, your month vacation? This that. No, no, come on. It's, but imagine like traveling. Like, no, I like to travel as much as the next guy, yeah. but like if I was traveling all the time like no set real circadian rhythm like i'm pretty sure that would take some sort of toll yeah. on me yeah, yeah that's that's what that. that's why you're in competitive sports <laughs> no <laughs> at least, you know what i mean you like, know, no you make a yeah. point absolutely <laughs> like you true. know you know no, you, it's sports people like you're doing something that that you the average human being normally wouldn't do and right. that's what's important that's why it matters right you you're looking at something extraordinary and if it has to be extraordinary to that degree, why not? Let it loose. <laughs> but That's I, my like, opinion. No, no. That, I mean, I think that makes sense. So, like, I, I understand what you're saying. And I, I would prefer more races. But in a sport that's clearly not at its highest point. Yeah. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. What do you think we're doing here? Every, no. Hey, every no. this is why we're here. Listen, I get listen, that. Listen, right it, would be, it would be simple. It would be very simple. Yeah, but that's more money that each team has to spend. Yeah. And therefore, then make it, the, the, then the, make it more, more appealing. Make it more available. Like, that's that's why they're go, they're peeling the banana the wrong way. Right. Listen, they, what, they need to do, what they need to do is... Number one, make the sport more available. Number two, stop caring so much about distribution rights and, and, and all that. Just try to make money. You will make, uh, you will reach a million dollars quicker from getting one dollar a million times than a million dollars at once. once. Right. You know what I Absolutely. mean? Absolutely. Like that's like if if you stop thinking that the biggest consumer market in the world is the U.S. You know, there's some gray it line. Be, it could, it's, it's, it's the U.S. or China. Mm-hmm. You know, depending on how you measure it. So, the, if, if, you, if you, close now. but if you stop thinking that the biggest consumer market in the world is the U.S. or China, and realize that the actual biggest consumer market in the world, the way it is right now, is the, the world. world. <laughs> yeah. Then, <laughs> then that changes everything. And mm-hmm. once, once they finally get that, and they finally realize that. The marketing should be done on new media and and, and all this, and, mm. and the sport should be like why aren't they, why aren't they promoting in Africa? Is like above, above like beneath? I, I don't understand it. Mm. I don't understand why they're not making much of an effort. Man, there's companies right now, multinationals. That's their next goal. Especially next goal no races involved. It. The world champion is a black dude. Yeah, he's <laughs> but, but his breaking family it, originally came from Africa. Breaking it to Africa we is what Nestle is trying to do. Is what uh, Procter and Gamble is uh, are trying to do because there's it's it's a market that um, right now they've bypassed all the bullshit that. Uh, the Western world had to go through, like you know, yeah, uh, just like, like fix fix like, telephone lines, like you know, like bullshit, yeah, like all kinds of bullshit, and and yeah. now it's actually everybody's awesome connecting. Them. They're gonna go boom. Yeah, there's there's all kinds of stories about like little villages. Like normally, you wanna you have like twenty goats. Mm-hmm. You wanna there's a village that way and a village that way. You don't know who's paying more for goats this week. Now they have cell phones. Yeah. You just text yeah. your buddy. Yo, how much you pay a guy. How much yo, this goat? Tell me how much goats are every week. I'll pay you no, a buck. This, this, no, this is actually huge, that's, man. That's really? for real. It's yeah, gigantic. No, 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 no. Because it, otherwise, you'd have to spend two days. You spend a day to go to that village and back, a day to go to that village and back. You can, and then if that you one can was make more this study. paying more money, you go there with your goats mm. the in, thir- in, in the third in, day. In any like little regional market like this Done. in Africa, you can go and make this study. And we know because studies have been made. And as soon as... As like and like like you can see like so if you if you plot a if you plot a graph of like say the price of goats, <laughs> right from day to day and like mm-hmm. how, like like uh, how much goats are going for, it looks like that and then there comes a clear point where it stabilizes and that point is the introduction of the cell phone because mm. then because yeah. the communication makes it easy mm. and 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 openness and that is that is just 
it's it's happening everywhere. That's the way. Look around you. Look around everything. It's it's happening everywhere. That's the way the world is going. Mm-hmm. The idiots at the top just are too involved in the in the way it, things used to be to realize that that's what's happening. Right. I, I only say goats because you imagine the lowest opportunity person just trying to survive. Mm-hmm. They have cell phones now and they can text to the next village. Yeah, like you can just it's either done. Just, like. Yeah. The idea of a smartphone, yeah. you know what I mean? It's just and they're and, and they're doing no, they're doing incredible, incredible stuff. There's um, in Kenya, one of the biggest companies there, look, we're one of the biggest startups and, and most exciting startups to come out from Kenya is a mobile payment company. A mobile payment company because it's so much easier for people to send money to each other over there mm-hmm. than it is here. Yeah, than it is here, man. Yeah. It's so intense. That's insane. Like you don't need to have a bank account. You need all you need to have is a cell phone to have like and and a cell phone now in Kenya provides you with the same like basic need or like you know takes care of the basic the same basic needs that a bank would have over right. here. It's so incredible, man. Yeah, lots of stuff is happening there. Where's Formula One? <laughs> there, there was a South African race until the nineties, yeah. until the mid nineties. So let, let's look at two opportune markets. This week, three, four days ago, <clears throat> the Argentinian government made a big news oh, story I, I about love to see F1 back in wanting to go back to Buenos Aires. The last time they raced there in 1998. I'd love to go. I'd go like, man, I'd save the, all my money. All like I, I, I would go like if, if there's an Argentinian Grand Prix, we should go. Yeah. The timing for this. I got my passport. No, no, it'll, it'll, <laughs> no, it's, it's going to, I know the Argentinians will make a big deal. <laughs> The, the timing for this is pretty apt because in uh, two weeks or three weeks, the for- two weeks, I believe, the Formula E race yeah. uh, will be in Buenos Aires. Nice. Not on the Formula One track, in the yeah. downtown. Uh, they just announced or just elected a new president, Mauricio Marci, Macri, sorry, who appointed a new tourism minister named Gustavo Santos. Okay. Whose mandate is to bring... Formula One, sick. The world, the World Cup, and any Ooh. other big events. They've already got Formula E for the past two years. Okay. To international Ar- events to Argentina. They want to get back. They want to get back on the map. They they were a big Formula One country for a while. Well, as far well, as where does Juan Manuel, Manuel Fangio comes from? Yeah. Formula Juan Manuel Fangio, the first F one stars before there were. His record of five championships wasn't. Uh, like it, it, it wasn't beaten until Schumacher in the early 2000s. Like it was, it went from 1950s uh, to early 1960s till the 2000s before somebody broke um, Fangio's record. And like, where was Fangio from? He was from from Argentina. Argentina. The thing about Argentina in those days, though, is that Argentina was like, believe it or not, it was a first world country. Mm. Argentina is maybe the only country that we have in in recent history that has actually gone from first world all the way back to third world. But they used to have more money than Canada. <laughs> wow! Yeah, yeah. wow! There's a little bit of oppression. <laughs> the the, uh, the little war there. Yeah, down there. Oh, it wasn't it wasn't accidental. This this all happened like in, and it was world politics and US foreign policy was heavily involved in this. It was it was nasty. It wasn't the the Brits kind of <laughs> fucked with their oil platforms yeah. in the ocean and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, but Argentina does have you know, as much as uh a name like Alfa Romeo has a claim for a historic and historic status mm-hmm. <laughs> in Formula One, so does Argentina. Mm. It does. Autodromo Oscar Alfredo Galvez. But it's that's not a very that's not a very interesting track, is it? Look it up. It's not very interesting. Yeah, I'm sure they'd have to modernize yeah, it, same I as know. any other. Yeah, they're, but they're gonna they're gonna, they're gonna the bring facilities. Tilki in there, and Tilki's gonna tilk it <laughs> to fucking boredom. <laughs> they might not change. Yeah, they might <laughs> change the. Uh, but they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna you know they're gonna change the pit lane. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's small. That's the problem. It was but it has to be small. Yeah, yeah. Four point three kilometers on the GP circuit. <laughs> yeah, most wins in it are still Juan Manuel Fangio. <laughs> there you go, four wins. Most wins by constructor Williams at that track. Yeah. Another interesting, the final one I got. Yeah. Iran, Iran yeah. is pushing hard for F one race. And why not let them? They have. This is actually the second time I looked back. Uh, see if you can bring up Keshem Island, Q E S H M. On the uh, Google map. We'll look Q-U-S-H-M. at it. Q-U-S-H-M. But interesting. Island. 
Island, yeah. Oh, Q-E-S-H-M, I'm sorry, yeah. So you can bring up the Google map page or something. There you go. Okay. Change it to the satellite view, and then you can zoom out and see relative to Iran where the, uh, where the island is. It's in the very south, very, very close to this track, Bahrain. Abu oh, Dhabi. Yeah. It's right right across. Right across the fucking strait. Yeah, right yeah. across from the, the UAE. Gulf. Yeah. The Abu Dhabi course. Uh the Bahrainian course is fairly close. So they want to build a f- an F1 the track in- there? The Indian closest track is fairly close. On this island, the QESHM island. I looked I look quite a bit at this island and it seems there's a few towns, like smaller not really a major city. There's an international airport on there. So I assume they want to develop this island a bunch. Like, but, like, like but turn it into a resort island. This, yeah, this area around here is probably nice. Yeah, you know, I'm sure it, it looks yeah. like a little lagoon. Yeah, or, or it's a protected area. Yeah, yeah. but in- but I've heard that I've had that that have actually not not Iranians themselves, but people that have actually gone to Tehran. All all I've heard is that Tehran is actually supposed to be pretty cool. As far as the Middle East is concerned, I've heard <laughs> that Tehran is one of the best cities to go to. Yeah. The most progressive, uh, the most things to do, the most whatever the most <laughs> you can, in, in, in contrary to what you might believe apparently boo- the booze is a flowing it's it, <laughs> one, one thing that i read recently is that apparently iran for a country where booze is outlawed it actually <laughs> they consume more booze there than like all of their neighbors <laughs> 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 including turkey and like the big ones you know <laughs> per, so, per- uh, exotic it, vehicles wait we but, have we, we have persian friends right yeah you know how over the top they are like they probably like yeah. i mean they, they would do it in a different way they do it in their own way they probably put like you know uh velvet Col- carpets everywhere like Cologne the, dispensers. Co- the, co- the, the color purple would be a prominent theme you know yeah. what i mean like yeah. <laughs> louis vuitton would be like etched onto everything but they'll, <laughs> they'll do it they'll do, they'll do big they'll do it proper <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But, you know, in 2011, or just after September 7, they had a little bit of sanctions imposed on their country by oh, the world, so the world order. After, just after they... As well as announced building a Formula One track now on this island. The original mm-hmm. plan was near the, near the capital, but I guess this island is their new uh, priority. They had also had some new elections like Argentina. The vice president of Iran, Masoud Sotanifuar, I think, <laughs> I think. I don't think they, it's the Iranians. It's just th- the assholes in Iran, like like most of those. Like yeah, situations. like like, every, like yeah, like everything. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I think that just 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 by knowing, uh, like Persian people, <laughs> I know that they would do it big, and of course they are a crowd that is already like uh, soccer crazy. They are like they're they're actually if you look at pictures of Iran back in from the seventies they look more like Europe. Yeah, they look like us. Than, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> driving, walking around in jeans and stuff and throwing footballs around. And that 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 still hasn't escaped them as much as like you know the with the new regime or whatever it's like it's very, uh, very very Islamic and you know they're the Islamic Republic and this and that and like there's things that like you couldn't get away with now that you could before, mm-hmm. but they're still Persian. I mean, never, you, know, you know what I mean? Right. They're I've not never Arabs. Been, but I think they're Persian and like they'll do it a Persian way. Yeah. I think there's still <laughs> stuff you can get away with either way. I had a teacher in high school from uh, Iran uh, and he was just like, no, no, I'm Persian. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, he was cool. Right. Segway. Baku. So. It's, it's okay. It's the country right now is suffering immensely. The, the, Azerbaijan. Yeah, Azerbaijan, yeah. even though they had a lot of money, like enough money to like pretend to be Europe. <laughs> Europe. <laughs> Hosting the, the European Grand Prix and the European uh, um, the European Games or whatever earlier last year. Um, now it seems like the money taps are kind of <laughs> being closed down because oil is so cheap, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so you, got, you got Saudi Arabia like a demented animal just <laughs> pumping the black stuff all over the world like it was nothing like it was fucking toilet paper yeah just just don't worry about it we got oil take a like few have it. take have a few it. extra rolls have it. it doesn't matter <laughs> what's what's your niece's name yeah yeah she can have a barrel you know what i mean so that has driven the price of oil now to the lowest it has been since maybe the post-war era maybe the cold war right at least uh, 2002 or so. Yeah. 
<laughs> I think it's like twenty eight bucks or something. It's, it's depends re- what type. So I, don't, I don't fully understand, but I, I vaguely do about like the Barrick. Or sorry, not Barrick. That's gold. Uh, like the Brent crude oh, and the and the West, the, Texas, and the West Texas Intermediate and the the whatever Eastern Sweet crude or all that kind of shit. Yeah. <laughs> there's, I guess there's variances in what you can distill from each type of. No, no, no. Those are those are just trading indices. Uh, they, like uh, the, the West, the West re- Texas- regionalized names i guess the market the market it's, it, they're, they're talking about like the market where it's being traded so even though for example west texas is no longer like in the global scale uh a significant oil producer like they're like they, yeah they have oil they, they have oil they produce but they keep a lot of it i think now either, US, either either way it's not u.s energy independence it's it's not as big as venezuela for example it's not as big as as uh even it's not it's uh, like West Texas yeah. is not as big as Azerbaijan, for example, in terms of oil production. Um, right. But it's still one of the principal places where oil gets traded, and that says the industry. And there's a, there's a few other uh, other places that that kind of like send the price. But either way, what, whatever whatever it is, it's so low right now that the country of Azerbaijan, because its economy was primarily fueled. By <laughs> ironically Oil so export. feel um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> like <laughs> really uh, they're now they're now in, in a bind they they're they're a dead ridden country quickly quickly spiraling out of control by the time that we make it there who knows what's like who knows how the country is gonna be man there could be an uprising by the time that we're in Baku hilarious I tweeted <laughs> I tweeted this picture the other day which is Two things. On, on the same day, basically, Azerbaijan made a public assurance through the world media that yeah. they have the money. The race is going to happen. Don't worry about it. Yeah. This is the European Grand Prix. It's happening. And at the same time, what people were fearing and what kind of, uh, at least like Nico Hockenberg was pissed off about, he couldn't race in the Le Mans race because it would be interfering. It's on the same weekend. It's still, it's still the same day. Right. But... He's not going to be able to. The schedu- Nobody, the no F1 drivers are going to be able to. The scheduling is as such that the qualifying is supposed to be ending before the race starts. And the race is supposed to start after the checkered flag of the Le Mans race. So the Baku race is supposed to start. And yeah, as, as but we had speculated... Nico Hulkenberg is not going to be no, able he's to not fly. Gonna, he's not going to fly. From, from no. Paris. Or, yeah, yeah, we know, need from those France virgin, to, virgin yeah. space planes. <laughs> but... This is the main the main point I had at least with this tweet. This is the Maidens Tower. That's the old old walled city of Azerbaijan. Uh, we speculated late, earlier in the year at least that perhaps Abu Dhabi had some sort of lockdown on sunset races since it was a badass right. idea and there was right. theirs was the only one. Apparently not. Baku, Azerbaijan is going to be a sunset race. Huh. Oh. It's starting. Yeah, it's starting at sunset and complete finishing in the dark the track's gonna be lit so that's wow. gonna be cool. that's gonna that's be some cool. that's gonna, gonna be, be kind of badass. it's gonna be local time for us too we can do we can we can watch this one live oh yeah it's probably close to 10 hours 10 11 hours uh 10 hours uh, well it'll time be difference like, but yeah it should be we should be able to nice i yes. think so Betty's? Betty's. <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be very late in europe so it should be midday for us but yeah the po- the point of it and who knows if that had to, was originally the plan, but was is to start the race after Le Mans finishes. Oh, and look badass! Doesn't that look cool? That's yeah. that's like their city square outside the that Maiden's Tower is like four hundred years old or something. Holy shit! It looks over the whole city. Fair Maiden. That's pretty cool. That is pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Other courses. So Austin. I mean, we, we know we know that. Okay, I I want to say. <laughs> primarily because i want to go but i want to say austin is still on the calendar um yeah I these guys so. bernie says it's happening these guys have you know they, they probably already paid for everything so the the local crisis is not affecting them Circuit this of the year no uh, back oh, yeah, to because they, they probably already have like all the contracts in place everything has already been paid for at least partly at least half a year yeah. ago when we first or, or, or at First least part of it. What, whatever, whatever advanced deposits they needed on the fucking equipment and everything else, right. that's that's already been taken care of. So the race is happening this year. Future of that race still up in the air. Still waiting to see what happens. If World War if World War Three starts uh, in 2016, obviously this is not going to happen. Right. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe the year after. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Wars uh, are pretty quick these days. What What else? Okay. Are, are we still talking about Monza being shit off the calendar? Nope. But we are talking about 
I spa told being you, shut off I the told calendar. you the Italians. The Italians are not going to let Monza. And mm-hmm. it's it's kind of like the only like gun that Bernie has. Like if 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 they if the Italians don't want to pay, Bernie can be like, all right, we'll take you off the calendar. And then they will pay because there's no way Ferrari will not have a home race. Mm. Uh, basically, today, about uh, I don't know, a handful of hours ago, this news came out. The contract for the Italian Grand Prix is set to be signed the final weekend of February. Okay. So, so I guess, up. or maybe the second, the, at, month at the end of February, probably just before testing. And uh, from the details I read, remember it when it was when they were at the race in Italy this year, Bernie was saying, this is never happening again. Nobody's here. <laughs> nobody cares. This, they need new facilities and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So apparently Italy, the government committed to some sort of facilities or track upgrade and that um, basically there's two contracts on the table a four year and a seven year so basically taking Monza to 2020 or 2023 and originally Bernie wanted I have the numbers 28 million dollars for hosting fees and it allegedly apparently from the news has been negotiated down to about 20 which is closer to what spa and spain pay for their hosting hmm. but going on off of that or l- 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 let's look at uh that other tweet first l- since we're talking about monza right now there's been a proposal the first Huerra grande to be <laughs> grande. to Cur- be Curva repaved grande. into an ex pista pirelli with a two and a half meter tall chicane at the end of it to bypass that corner. That was a track. That that's that's what that means. That was Th- that was like an old Pirelli track that went like that. That was uh, yeah. There was a section of track that was used for tire testing. You see okay, the no, sh- you see the sharp corner on the right that curved. Yeah, yeah, back. yeah. It, w- it, w- it went like that, and Whoa. then connected back to the original loop like that. Right down here. That was that was original. Oh shit! Yeah. I looked up Look the history that. of this. Yeah. That was used for uh, tire test tire testing. That's why it's called the Pirelli. Track. Right. Exactly. So the idea is to repave that. With that two and a half meter tall, or like a ten feet, ten foot tall chicane at the end of it, and reconnect to the Cuerva Grande, which is one of the fastest corners in F1. Curva, wow. Cuerva Grande. Grande. Yeah. But from what I read, apparently, the way that this track works is it used to be like a ridiculous. It's called the Temple of Speed. It used to be ridiculously fast. But if you look at the map in the bottom left, those chicanes, at least the first one there, never used to be there. Right. It used to be one big straight. So when motorcycles and endurance cars race here, they have to go through that chicane, and yeah. it's really tight, like kind of yeah, too yeah, tight yeah, yeah. for motorcycles to do that. Get a good lean on. Yeah. So the idea of this chicane for motorcycles and uh, endurance cars and certain other cars is to eliminate that first chicane, go straight through. Yeah, right there. Right, okay. Go straight through and then force them through the second chicane to slow them down before you get to the the second straight right, so you're not going okay. 400 by the time you reach right, the second okay. the third you came yeah like, that's insane right but there was also some quotes from um vettel that in the ferrari simulator they have this modeled already and he's driven it a whole shitload of times <laughs> yeah so who knows and that might be part of the deal that um bernie negotiated with monza and in and the country of italy to host this race is add something tilky like, designed like, like, like you said that that'll, that'll be a perfect spot for a joker lap <laughs> yeah the joker lap <laughs> remember we were talking <laughs> yeah we were talking about <laughs> the uh rally x yeah it were rally cross yeah rally cross. Well, x cross whatever you know. um i lost a little bit <laughs> <laughs> what did you lose uh <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't I don't, yeah, I don't have Joker I don't advocate throw some uh, Joker laps in F one yeah, man yeah. you just put the you just paint that line like the pit lap where you come out of the pits <laughs> you stay in there everyone sees you coming and leave it safe. leave it like this don't even bother paving that just, just <laughs> leave it's like it off road <laughs> yeah. well, it's like the secret it's like the secret path in I, any Mario Kart I actually level. really like yeah. come on I know that it, that it, it's one of those like pipe dreams that will never happen but I would love to see modern f1 cars just tearing it down the banking <laughs> like the old monza banking pull at up, least pull up a, a picture at least on a just, demonstration. Just, just look up monza banking at least on a demonstration banking. especially since they yeah. repaved it they repaved yeah. it two years ago why like, why did they yeah. repave it that, yeah. that would be oh so sweet God. <laughs> this <laughs> you know? is insane yeah yeah that was it's the like that's the old surfing. course that's yeah. the old course yeah 
Oh. Like, look at that. What? That's yeah. like two stories. <laughs> yeah. It was ridiculous. Is the probably inspiration and, for modern NASCAR. And and if you originally. went... Like if you lost control of your car and while well, you were like you know at high speed around this and you could you could reach some you can high see speed. some skid marks there yeah. <laughs> look on the right side somebody lost control a few times the, the thing about it is like it's so unsafe because so let's say you lost control over here yeah. you'd keep sliding at the top to keep the momentum right oh, so like no. you'd be on somebody else's racing line and then all of a sudden you'd like cross down because of gravity so you'd get be like right in the middle of cars passing. Oh it was super God. dangerous, was but come on, it looks look at so that. Cool. Look at that. It's like those. Uh, you ever see like those old uh, either YouTube videos or gifs, and it was like these people at, like almost like in a barrel, and it was like motorcycles. Or, oh like, yeah, there was like bears at, at the on circus. At the circus. <laughs> yeah. I've seen I've seen that in real life. Yeah, me too. What? More than once. Yeah. Oh yeah. Driving around know. inside a steel ball. Yeah. 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 They need more of that. Two and three motorcycles. <laughs> they they look up no, and man, grab this is, hands. This, the, the, like these kind of pictures were the inspiration for something like a about freaking speed racer. The overhead, the the helicopter picture there. There you go. You can see the, originally they had a the big loop, and then they're just like nah. Yeah, yeah. like it went like that though. Like it, 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 okay, so they went up there, and then this. Yeah, they went, went kind of like, like oh yeah. Whoa. They went on the inside, then the outside, like, yeah. like, almost like a figure eight. It crossed over. Fuck, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was really. That would cool. really. It was change really, really cool. a race. Oh man, and it, on top of like like Monza is already one of the longest tracks. Yeah. Make no mistake, the the shape is quite. It's it looks simple, but it's still huge. Yeah. So making it like this would put it in like freaking. Um, like almost uh, Silverstone territory, probably. Spa, so. like, yeah, yeah, cl closer or even uh, longer than Silverstone. But it would just be like, look at this. This would just be speed. Like, like yeah. whoever can get around this the fastest. Sweet. Yeah. If, if you ask me. <laughs> hey, you just throw some sprinklers on the side. You got a whole different race. <laughs> come on, Bernie. Yeah, look, look at that bridge. No, no, come on, come on, come on uh, to the right there. It's like it's basically vertical. That's a wall. Yeah. No, but the, there were cars here, man. Boom. And if you look two to the left, that's how it looked very recently. Two photos to the left of that, above, right to the right one. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Yeah, right below that. Yeah. That's how it looked very recently. In With moss. Yeah, but they they got Jesus money together Christ. and repaved no, the whole click, thing. Click that again. Click that again. In the, about <laughs> two years ago, I think they oh, repaved. Oh no, never it. mind. I don't even know what happened. I think it showed a picture of Lewis going down the banking. He got to but drive. Remember, he got to drive it with Sterling Moss or something. Yeah, yeah, Sterling Moss's car. Yeah. They would yeah. never put something like this in F one. <sighs> you know, because they're pussies. Not anymore. There's a fucking. There's we, we we are living right now in an era of the great pussification of the world. The world, <laughs> man. Everything's got to be fucking. I saw a great argument the other day. It was a photograph from the late fifties or early sixties of Monza, and then compared to now and how it looks, safety. The, the overhead bridge is different. Sorry, sorry, not Monza. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Monaco. Yeah. But how dangerous it was. People standing on the side of the track, any of these photographs. Mm -hmm. And somebody's somebody's argument was, yeah, we've put, been pussified. <laughs> Nobody should have to die at a sporting event. But at the same time, that shit happens you don't regardless. have to stand beside the track. There's something yeah. called personal responsibility. You understand the risks of what yeah, you're doing guys. and accept them. Yeah. Guys, be smart. What did I say? Yeah. yeah. One yeah. of the I last. Be this, smart. This is why I love MMA so much. Yeah. I'm not gonna get into it again, but this is one of the last vestiges of real fearlessness and ridiculousness. Is Absolutely. getting in a cage with a man and fight him until somebody falls asleep. Right. Until somebody's I mean, brain turns <laughs> off. That's that's. Isn't like part of the reason why they get paid so much? Like these drivers get paid so much is that it is dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. Right. And, as it, well. and, 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 and it requires enormous skill. Yeah. Right, enormous skill. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Like pod racing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Or building a Death Star. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Looking at you, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> like I wouldn't be surprised that when like if, if when Bernie dies and like like all his like like his carcass starts to like get eaten by worms, all you get <laughs> all you all, all that remains is something like that. <laughs> the Terminator head right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, on your speaker. <laughs> <laughs> sticking on sticking on this topic though yeah. we still have for 2016 on the official calendar 21 races the concord so weird, agreement man. says 20 yeah you 
we talked about this a few months ago and you're adamant that you believe spa was next on the chopping block it was yeah i saw an article this it's week it's so I couldn't sad fu- i could find a link but why it why might you, still be why would you compromise spa like you can't you have to take <sighs> yeah spa yeah, is not a great a, place gotta take a deep breath yeah, yeah. yeah. spa is the british it's belgian. No, belgian. 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 belgian belgian oh rouge the big hill it's, okay. it's, it's the it's longest of, track it's the, it's it's over the last seven kilometers it's the last vestiges of of old F one. I mean, even though the track has been changed and it's not as long as it used to be, it's still the it's longest. Still the longest one. So and it's still got some of the badassest corners in F one, and and the straights and just the just where they go, man. They go and race in the middle of the Arden Forest. It's beautiful around there. It's not. It's only t- today. Mm. It's only for the fans. You don't go there. To host a business meeting like you would uh, w- with your sponsors yeah, like in, yeah, in Monaco, or or, yeah, or yeah, Monaco Mont- or Montreal or Monaco. Yeah, you, you of, would, you, the there's, there's no casino. Well, there is like a city. small casino, but it's like a casino like there would be in a small town. Right. You know, you know what I mean? Like Some a couple slot slots. Machines, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, no spa. You go there because you go to race, mm. and it's a challenge for the drivers, and they love it because it's actually like one of the last true tracks. Everyone, almost everyone staying there is camping, but because. Right. There's no money in it. Mm. Yeah. Bernie wants to chop it off, and like there's there, that has to be stopped. Mm. And and if this is something that the manufacturers are gonna stop, like this this ridiculous, like wanting to wanting to get rid of like the actual important races in favor for whoever like the 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 biggest bidder is, then I applaud that. Mm. You know what I mean? Then I'm on board, cause cause Spa needs to stay. The, the, it's, this shouldn't be a discuss. This shouldn't even be open to discussion. You know what I mean? That's what they said yeah. about the NHL Nordiques, uh, the Quebec Nordiques. Oh, really? And then they got chopped. Shit. But there's talks of bringing them back. So I feel it, it's just one of those. It wasn't like the most marketable team. Uh, Quebec doesn't have a hockey team. Well, they have Montreal. Montreal. Yeah. Uh, but they used to also have Quebec a provi- City. A provincial team. Oh, Quebec City. Right, right. So yeah. they had, used to have two, and then they moved, I believe, to Colorado. Oh, crazy. And then they became Rockies. The, the, the Rockies, right? Um, Avalanche. Avalanche. Oh. I don't know fuck all about hockey. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. But yeah, but it was like one of those older teams that you're like, why would you get rid of this? Like, I know it's kind of the suffering, but I mean, like, the East Coast is like, like, there's a lot of need and want for hockey. Right. But there's just not a lot. If, if Bernie was in charge, teams. they'd have to change the name to the kn or the kh yeah. the khd <laughs> the quebec hockey team q qhd well there's there's talks now of adding like a las vegas well, team i'm saying it we have French. we have a similar bernie San, uh, bernie Sanders, uh bernie ecclestone q- in the uh Q-H-T. what <laughs> Q-H-T. um there's there, there, there's an nhl bernie <laughs> um hilarious his name is kind of escaping me now but uh yeah, he's kind of he's, he was kind of a dick because there was a few lockouts in the NHL, yeah, right? And it was just kind of a lot of back and forth of bullshit. Yeah, and they uh, actually didn't play for a year. Yeah, or a two. year, and then uh, at, at another time, a few years later, for half a year. That is so weird. That would, yeah, see, it was see super that, weird. That that wouldn't happen in F one. That couldn't happen because mm-hmm. it, then it just it would be too unsustainable. That's a that's a point. That's what, and it's so fucked that for some of the negotiations and and why they've they've gone through with with Bernie and whatever is that F1 needs to carry on just for its sake it needs to happen if it doesn't happen then like if 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 so much as all like if all the teams for example if all the teams what is everybody in every feeder series racing for if yeah, there's no formula 1 exactly what the fuck are you doing yeah. GP2, GP3, no. Formula 2, Formula 3, Formula 4. But just all, everything that Renault is at 3. stake, 5, man. V8 Challenge, There IndyCar. is just so much at stake. That Go-karts. What are you if, racing if, a go-kart for? There's no if option. all the teams ev- missed even one race, the whole system would go the way of Dodo. You know what I mean? Like, it would. Yeah. It's just it, it, it would go belly up. It, nothing would be sustainable. Like, thereafter, the teams wouldn't make the money that they'd have to. The, 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 the promoters would get shafted etc 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 it's so fucked and but keeping f1 going on just for the <laughs> sake of it shouldn't be the primary motivator i don't believe that's that's even a question because there's 
still many countries vying to hold a race. Argentina, three days ago. Yeah, but if you ask me, I'm, I'm of the opinion that there should be 30 races a year. Why not? Why not? Well, the yeah. teams don't want it. The teams don't want well, it. Fuck they the teams. Tra- they don't want to travel that much. <laughs> Well, yeah, you do more and more back to back. You get the time off. Everybody else works all, every, all year. You get like four weeks off or six weeks vacation. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's probably the world yeah, average. Yeah, you want to. Yeah, you want to keep your your month vacation. This that. No, no. Come on. It's, but imagine like traveling. Like no, I like to travel as much as the next guy. Yeah. But like if I was traveling all the time, like no set real circadian rhythm. Like I'm pretty sure that would take some sort of toll yeah. on me. Yeah, yeah that's that's, that's what that. that's why you're in competitive sports. <laughs> No, <laughs> least, you know what I mean. You, like, no, no, you make a yeah. point. Absolutely, <laughs> like you true. know, you know, no, you, it's sports people. Like you're doing something that that you, the average human being, normally wouldn't do, and right. that's what's important. That's why it matters. Right. You you're looking at something extraordinary, and if it has to be extraordinary to that degree, why not let mm. it loose? <laughs> But that's my like, opinion no no that, i mean i think that makes sense so like I, I understand what you're saying and i i would prefer more races but in a sport that's clearly not at its highest point yeah uh we're getting there we're getting there what, we're do, getting you think, there. what do you think we're doing here every, no hey every no, this is why we're here listen, i guess listen, that. listen right it, would be, it would be simple it would be very simple yeah but that's more money that each team has to spend yeah and therefore then make it, the, the, then the, make it more more appealing make it more available like that's that's why they're go they're peeling the banana the wrong way. Right. Listen, they, what Doesn't they matter. need to do what they need to do is number one, make the sport more available. Number two, stop caring so much about distribution rights and, and, and all that. Just try to make money. You will make. Uh, you will reach a million dollars quicker from getting one dollar a million times than a million dollars at once. once right you know what i Absolutely. mean like that's like if if you stop thinking that the biggest consumer market in the world is the u.s you know there's some gray it line be, it could but... it's 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 the u.s or china mm-hmm. you know depending on how you measure it so the if, if you, if you but if you stop thinking that the biggest consumer market in the world is the u.s or china and realize that the actual biggest consumer market in the world the way it is right now is the, the world. world yeah <laughs> then, <laughs> then that changes everything and mm-hmm. once once they finally get that and they finally realize that the marketing should be done on new media and and, and all this and mm-hmm. the sport should be like why aren't they, why aren't they promoting in africa is like Above, above, like beneath, I, I don't understand it. Mm-hmm. I don't understand why they're not making much of an effort. Man, there's companies right now, multinationals. That's their next goal. Especially next goal no races involved. It. The world champion is a black dude. Yeah, he's <laughs> but, but his breaking family it, originally came from Africa. Breaking it to Africa we is what Nestle is trying to do. Is what uh, Procter and Gamble is uh, are trying to do because there's, it's it's a market that, um, right now they've bypassed all the bullshit that. Uh, the Western world had to go through, like you know, yeah, uh, just like, like fix fix like, telephone lines, like you know, like bullshit, yeah, like all kinds of bullshit, and and yeah. now it's actually everybody's awesome connecting. Them. They're gonna go boom. Yeah, there's there's all kinds of stories about like little villages. Like normally, you wanna you have like twenty goats. Mm-hmm. You wanna there's a village that way and a village that way. You don't know who's paying more for goats this week. Now they have cell phones. Yeah. You just text yeah. your buddy. Yo, how much you be, pay a guy. How much yo, Tell me how much goats are every week. I'll pay you no, a this, buck. This, no, this is actually huge, that's, man. That's really? for real. It's yeah, no, 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 no. Because it, otherwise, you'd have to spend two days. You spend a day to go to that village and back, a day to go to that village and back. You can, and then if that you one can was make more this study. paying more money, you go there with your goats mm. the in, thir- in, in the third in, day. In any like little regional market like this Done. in Africa, you can go and make this study. And we know because studies have been made. And as soon as... As like and like like you can see like so if you if you plot a if you plot a graph of like say the price of goats, <laughs> right from day to day and like mm-hmm. ha, like like uh, how much goats are going for, it looks like that and then there comes a clear point where it stabilizes and that point is the introduction of the cell phone because mm. then because yeah. the communication makes it easy mm. and 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 openness and that is that is just. It's it's happening everywhere. That's the way. Look around you. Look around everything. It's it's happening everywhere. That's the way the world is going. Mm-hmm. The idiots at the top just are too involved in the in the way it, things used to be to realize that that's what's happening. Right. I only say goats because you imagine the lowest 
opportunity person just trying to survive mm. they have cell phones now and they can text to the next village yeah like you can just it's either just, you, like yeah. the idea of a smartphone yeah you know what i mean it's just and they're, and, and they're doing no they're doing incredible incredible stuff there's um in kenya one of the biggest companies there, look, we're one of the biggest startups and, and most exciting startups to come out from Kenya is a mobile payment company. A mobile payment company because it's so much easier for people to send money to each other over there mm. than it is here. Yeah. Than it is here, man. Yeah. It's so intense. That's insane. Like you don't need to have a bank account. You need all you need to have is a cell phone to have like and and a cell phone now in Kenya provides you with the same like basic need or like you know takes care of the basic the same basic needs that a bank would have over right. here it's so incredible man yeah lots of stuff is happening there where's formula one <laughs> there, there was a south african race until the, the 90s yeah. until the mid 90s so let, let's look at two opportune markets this week three four days ago <clears throat> the argentinian government made a big news oh, story I, I about love to see f1 back in argentina. wanting to go back to buenos aires the last time they raced there in 1998 i'd love to go i'd go like man i'd save the, all my money all like i i would, I would go like if, if there's an argentinian grand prix we should go yeah the timing for this i got my passport no no it'll it'll <laughs> no it's it's gonna i know the argentinians will make a big deal <laughs> The, the timing for this is pretty apt because in uh, two weeks or three weeks, the for, two weeks I believe the Formula E race yeah. uh, will be in Buenos Aires, nice. not on the Formula One track in the yeah. downtown. Uh, they just announced or just elected a new president, Mauricio Marci, Macri, sorry, who appointed a new tourism minister named Gustavo Santos. Okay, whose mandate is to bring. Formula One, sick. The world, the World Cup, and any Ooh. other big events. They've already got Formula E for the past two years. Okay. To international Ar- events to Argentina. They want to get back. They want to get back on the map. They they were a big Formula One country for a while. Well, as as well, where does Juan Manuel, Manuel Fangio comes from? Yeah. Formula Juan Manuel Fangio, the first F one stars before there were. His record of five championships wasn't. Uh, like it, it, it wasn't beaten until Schumacher in the early 2000s. Like it was, it went from 1950s uh, to early 1960s till the 2000s before somebody broke um, Fangio's record. And like, where was Fangio from? He was from from Argentina. Argentina. The thing about Argentina in those days, though, is that Argentina was like, believe it or not, it was a first world country. Mm. Argentina is maybe the only country that we have in in recent history that has actually gone from first world all the way back to third world. But they used to have more money than Canada. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. There's a little bit of oppression. The, <laughs> the, uh, the little war there. Yeah. Down there. Oh, it wasn't it wasn't accidental. This this all happened like in, and it was world politics and US foreign policy was heavily involved in this. It was it was nasty. It was the the Brits kind of <laughs> fucked with their oil platforms yeah. in the ocean and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, but Argentina does have, you know, as much as uh a name like Alfa Romeo has a claim for a historic and historic status mm-hmm. <laughs> in Formula 1, so does Argentina. Mm. It does. Autodromo Oscar Alfredo Galvez. But it's that's not a very that's not a very interesting track, is it? Look it up. It's not very interesting. Yeah, I'm sure they'd have to modernize yeah, it. Same I as know. any other. Yeah, they're, but they're gonna they're gonna, they're gonna bring facilities. Tilki in there, and Tilki's gonna tilk it to fucking boredom. <laughs> they might not change. Yeah, they might <laughs> change the. Uh, but they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna you know they're gonna change the pit lane. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's small. That's the problem. It was but it has to be 53. small. Yeah, yeah. Four point three kilometers on the GP circuit. <laughs> yeah, most wins in it are still one one other you. <laughs> there you go. Four wins. Most wins by constructor Williams at that track. Yeah. Another interesting. The final one I got. Yeah. Iran. Iran yeah. is pushing hard for F1 race. And why not let them? They have. This is actually the second time I looked back. Uh, see if you can bring up Keshem Island, Q E S H M, on the uh, Google map. We'll look Q-U-S-H-M. at it. Q U S H M. But interesting. Island. Island. Yeah. Oh, Q E S H M. I'm sorry. Yeah. See so if you can bring up the Google map page or something. There you go. Okay. Change it to the satellite view, and then you can zoom out and see, relative to Iran, where the uh, where the island is. It's in the very south, 
Very, very close to this track, Bahrain, Abu oh, Dhabi. Yeah. It's right, right across, right across the fucking strait. Yeah, right yeah. across from the, the UAE. Gulf. Yeah. The Abu Dhabi course, uh, the Bahrainian course is fairly close. So they want to build an F1 the track in, there? The Indian closest track is fairly close on this island, the QESHM island. I looked, I looked quite a bit at this island, and it seems there's a few towns, like smaller, not really a major city. There's an international airport on there. So I assume they want to develop this island a bunch. They got but, like, but turn it into a resort island. This, yeah, this area around here is probably nice. Yeah, you know. I'm sure it, it looks yeah. like a little lagoon. Yeah. Or, or it's a protected area. Yeah. yeah. But in- but I've heard that I've had that that have actually not not Iranians themselves, but people that have actually gone to Tehran. All all I've heard is that Tehran is actually supposed to be pretty cool. As far as the Middle East is concerned, I've heard <laughs> that Tehran is one of the best cities to go to. Yeah. The most progressive. Uh, the most things to do, the most whatever, the most. In, in contrary to what you might believe, apparently boo- the booze is a flowing. It's it, <laughs> one thing that I read recently is that apparently Iran, for a country where booze is outlawed, it actually <laughs> they consume more booze there than like all of their neighbors, <laughs> 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 including Turkey and like the big ones, you know, <laughs> per. So, per- uh, exotic it, vehicles wait we but, have we, we have persian friends right yeah you know how over the top they are like they probably like yeah. i mean they, they would do it in a different way they do it in their own way they probably put like you know uh velvet Clo- carpets everywhere like the, the, col- the, col- the, the color purple would be a prominent theme you know yeah. what i mean like yeah. <laughs> louis vuitton would be like etched onto everything but they'll, <laughs> they'll do it they'll do, they'll do big they'll do it proper <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you know in 2011 or just after september 7th they had a little bit of sanctions imposed on their country by oh, the world so the crazy. world order after, just after they as well as announced building a formula 1 track now on this island the originally mm-hmm. plan was near the near the capital but i guess this island is their new uh, priority they had also had some new elections like argentina the vice president of iran masoud sotanifar I think, <laughs> I think. I don't think they, it's the Iranians. It's just I the th- assholes in Iran, like like most of those. Like yeah, like like, every, like yeah, like everything. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I think that just 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 by knowing, uh, like Persian people, <laughs> I know that they would do it big, and of course they are a crowd that is already like uh, soccer crazy. They are like they're they're actually if you look at pictures of Iran back in from the seventies they look more like Europe. Yeah, they look like us. Than, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're driving, walking around in jeans and stuff and throwing footballs around. And that 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 still hasn't escaped them as much as like you know the with the new regime or whatever it's like it's very, uh, very very Islamic and you know they're the Islamic Republic and this and that and like there's things that like you couldn't get away with now that you could before, mm-hmm. but they're still persian I mean, never, you, know, you know what i mean right. they're I've not never Arabs. Been, but i think they're persian and like they'll do it a persian way yeah i think there's still <laughs> stuff you can get away with either way yeah. i had a teacher in high school from uh, iran <laughs> uh, and he was just like no no i'm persian yeah yeah and uh, he was yeah. the Verstappen did on the slopes yeah. which was actually badass we I, both agreed. I tweeted this the other uh, day. We all agreed. We all agreed. Kitzbühel, Kitzbühel is the ski hill, the ski resort, I guess, that they were, the mountain that they were driving the F1 car on. Yeah. I hashtagged it. Look, hashtag James, hashtag Kitzbühel. Yeah. Because the, uh, the township, the city, the village or whatever is near this mountain. Uh-huh. Decided to find Red Bull... And the organizers, 30,000 euro. At first, I saw 17,000 euro. It's jumped to 30,000 euro. Over 50,000 US dollars. What, of what the happened? the world. That's what's happening. Uh, basically, the fine is for not getting a permit for driving the car in the wilderness, or in the in the wild, I guess, because it could damage damage the wildness. Yeah, there's there's a lot of wildlife up there. Oh, yeah. Look at look at. <laughs> <laughs> because they put chains on the tires. The reporter in his natural environment. Right. <laughs> what? I see, I see a bunch of snow squirrels being run over. <laughs> right. So basically a $50,000 U.S. permit Jeez. from the local officials for not getting the proper permit. Meanwhile, in that photograph, there's all kinds of people standing there with paint on the snow. They painted the snow red for this. This is where they practice ski racing, I guess, for the Austrian Olympics 
team, I guess, I like guess the so. Super G and stuff, where you go like 100 kilometers an hour on skis and snowboards. Yeah. They painted the snow, and they're worried about like some chains <laughs> kicking up snow that <laughs> falls from the sky on its own from... <laughs> By God, the power of God, it snows. <laughs> Water freezes in, in, in the atmosphere and falls down to the mountains. No, but that's, that's, that's the wilderness, man. <laughs> that is the wilderness. This Meanwhile, there's all like three, four no, thousand no, people there you know, watching. You know, you know what happened? A bunch, a bunch of guys with gray hair and suits sat around the table and they were like, we need more money. <laughs> we got to get more. How can we get more money from these guys? <laughs> So Kits Kitsbu Hell, Kitsbu Hell. Uh the director Michael Berger, that's his name, that's the guy you have to be mad at. Uh said that no permission was sought. Jesus. And uh Red Bull said we mitigated all the environmental disaster we could have. Almost four thousand people came. I thought it was bad. Yeah, like what I thought you, it was amazing. It, like I wouldn't have ever heard about Kitsbu whatever if it wasn't because of this. I would have never. Yeah, if I ever plan to go to Europe to ski, that's the first place yeah, I'm probably going to yeah. look at for the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> if Red Bull went there to drive their F1 car, why not? Dis- despite their pedantic bureaucrats. Yeah. <laughs> Table. Apparently, because the teams wanted the stupid cockpit discussion. Mm. Like, <laughs> the halo. Yeah, they, they, the halo. Yeah, like this thing, this monstrosity. So, something just from seeing this picture. <laughs> Just from seeing this exact picture, for those who are listening, this looks like a CGI, but basically it's kind of like a, a blade or a wedge that goes around the driver's head to protect from fly, where would, flying debris, cars going over not, the car. Where would the head be here? Inside. Inside. Like right here? Like right against the back, like, okay. like, like as usual. Okay. Like, like so this, his, his this, visor would so, be no, above this. So this <clears throat> actually here would be below. It's so like his head would fit in between that. But what? Like there. Yeah. yeah, like the the top wing part there would be, I guess, in line with the top of his head. So it wouldn't be blocking your view. No, but it would still. You'd still have that one line there. You'd see it a bit. Yeah, you'd see that It's one. like a hockey goalie mask, though. You got like, yeah. you know, like this mesh thing. You just kind of like make up all the bits. Yeah. Right? So... For those of you that don't know, basically this week... This is week, still gay. Like, come on. No, 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 no saying, Come on, don't get offended. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this I'm is offended, fucking man. stupid. Um, because it's not going to do... Like, it's going to be one of those things that by the law of unintended consequences, they're going to create something that's actually more hazardous for the for the driver. Mm. They're not going to... They're going to... Oh, oh, we solved one problem. But by solving that problem, they created three or four other ones. That wedge is... It's kind of similar to the antennas that they have lined up in the center now, which doesn't really block their view, although it, that one looks like about four inches deep. But something I, th- something I noticed from this picture we talked about last week was the head berms. So basically, you see where the sides to the right of your mouse there, where the, uh, the halo mounts right there yeah, right here. and the other side. That berm, the lighter part, for this year, must be three and a quarter, three and a third times stronger than it was last year. Last oh. year, about fifteen kilonewtons. This year, that head burn part is going to be about two centimeters taller, and require the force of fifty newtons to crush it. Kilonewtons, oh which is about five kilonewtons, which is like five tons, five tons or more. So it's possible that this halo was already decided earlier. This year they bring in as a step the stronger side head berms. Yeah. And next year use those stronger developed berms to give them two years to develop so to mount the halo to to protect the driver. So you stupid. know what I see when I see this? Yeah. Thing or <laughs> whatever time of day it is. You can though at night. At night, yeah. yeah. With those clear visors that, there, you see the eyes. Well now two races at night. <laughs> yeah. Three. 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 Two, one at night, two in sunset. Oh right. Uh Singapore? Right. Singapore is at night time. Yeah, there you wow! Go. Michael <laughs> Schmidt! Oh, man. He knows about F1. He's telling all his friends. <laughs> I, I, I am, actually. I am telling my friends. I can tell them about things. Because they have no idea. And they'll just believe me. <laughs> no, it's, it, it, it is pretty cool. Like, if, if, if uh, uh, you know, <laughs> Europeans don't, uh, like, don't understand, but, you know, finding... Like finding other like people that are into F one and motorsports 
in North America is quite an exciting thing. Is yeah. you go, oh, shit. shit. Really? Oh, shit. No <laughs> doubt. <Yeah. laughs> well, you, <clears throat> you remember when I think you were still living in Spain yeah. and you and me were watching races through, through texting <laughs> or whatever. Uh, at that time, there was an episode of Top Gear. Oh, no, it wasn't Top Gear. It was... Uh, Richard Hammond had some sort of engineering, oh, the engineering show. connections or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah he had yeah. some sort of he had a show called Engineering Connections. It lasted like four yeah. or six episodes, something yeah. something short. But one of the episodes was about F one vehicle safety and F one, and they were at that time, I think five years ago, testing a canopy or a cockpit like a <laughs> like a fighter like jet. a fighter jet type cockpit, and they had basically like a tire mounted on a piston oh, this. that would just go like. Just kind of like swing <laughs> over it, swing over it like a like a pendulum and smack into this glass, <laughs> trying not to crack it. Obviously, they got away from that idea. This way, the driver will still be able to jump out. Yeah, you right. you, you don't want like you want to balance like a, any of these like cockpits idea with the fact that if it lands upside down, the driver should still be able to get out. Mm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. But if it was upside down with the well, with a, with a, yeah up. with with a with a fighter jet configuration, yeah. it would be a lot harder, presumably. Presumably. Well, that, but they, but no, but at one point when they, when they really wanna wanted to like expand this idea and actually like like get into it, they were talking about <laughs> this 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 full uh, canopy like, like a fighter glass, fi- glass yeah. canopy like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, a fighter yeah, yeah. jet yeah like a fighter jet I like that idea, but <laughs> it somehow make like a system sort of like you know how like um. You know how um, when you pull the ejector on, a, is that what you're talking about? No, or no, no, no. It was it was supposed to be an automatic thing, like uh, like uh, like airbags. You know how like when airbags like detect the crash, this thing was supposed to be so that whenever it detect a crash, it like actually activated like explosives to like eject the the canopy right off with enough force that if the car landed upside down, it would actually like be like so much that 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 it would <laughs> that it would. Like either put the car right side up, or <laughs> you, you, you know what I mean. Something so ridiculous that they were at no point even considering. Yo, are we thinking of actually putting explosives around the driver? <laughs> like you know what I mean. Like, if you've ever seen a fighter jet eject, yeah. they, they pull that thing behind the head, and some sort of pneumatic, hydraulic, or explosive charge goes off and ejects the canopy back. <laughs> But at like 1,500 kilometers an hour. (laughs) And then your seat seat has a rocket booster attached to it. And you kind of eject from the plane. That's good. Yeah. Pull your parachute and escape the safety. The idea is cool. But if you leave leave these these gray-haired men in a room for long enough with enough snacks, they'll come up with stupid (laughs) shit. Enough snacks. Can can we segue to the torture chamber? (laughs) Yeah, let's do it. Because... I think I think Nico Rosberg might have enough neck strength to get himself out of a upside down car. No, this is not it. This oh. is not it. Uh was it this one? Mm, no, it would be the other YouTube. Yeah, the other YouTube one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy right here. Let's get some sound though. Let's hear this. Oh, we're going to do that because we're commenting on this. No sound right now. Oh. Can I have some? Yeah. 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 As, as long uh, as we keep this, this, this might not. You oh. might have also opened. You must have opened. Might have opened the wrong link two times. I, I believe he did. <coughs> Sorry, not the wrong link, but the same link twice. What? No, this is a different one. Oh, it's no. not. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. It's, oh, it's the same. It's the same. You only open what you highlight. <laughs> <laughs> it's highlight. You can fast. You just fast forward that. Ten minutes and thirty-eight seconds in that same video. This is on the Mercedes AMG Patronus YouTube channel, right there. Yeah. So there, there, yeah, there's some chick talking right now. Why does she talk about? No, she told. No, you pressed, you pressed back at 10:38. Oh, I pressed. Okay, there you go. There you go. Right here. You might have seen Lewis training in the gym or running on the beach in Mexico. Yeah, you might have apparently. Okay. It's his I think chain. I think I think we're threading like <laughs> Nico's torture very, chamber. Very very blurry, blurry, copyright grounds. But we're we're still commenting on this. So now, uh, for 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 those of you that are listening, <laughs> this is a video that we have on 
on the links and it shows Nico Rosberg. If you need to see the clip, I, it's gonna it's tweeted. <laughs> we'll tweet it. Look at this. This so he's basically got a Schubert helmet with some bolts in it attached to a weight machine and he's strengthening his neck. That's the torture. Oh my god! That yeah. was the, tor the Nico's torture chamber. Going like this. I love that. Rocking back and forth. But that's great. We, that's what, we, that's, we, those, are the muscles, those are the muscles that you have to train as a, as a, as a, as a driver. I, I uh, put this into a GIF and I'm, I'm going to tweet it right after this show. But can we watch that again? Oh my god. Shting, shting, shting. This is intense. Look, look at this side to side. Oh, and then he does the other side. Why? Meanwhile, but it's so it's so crazy because like you look at an F1 driver and like any F1 driver like that is one of like the features that you can always tell is like they they ha they all have like huge necks. Yeah. Like Alonso has a fucking huge neck. It doesn't like it looks like his head is like standing like. I was gonna say like their body shape must be like really weird. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. they have these giant necks and then, and then like this, this very down. tiny frame. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, ooh la la. <laughs> so, since we showed part of it. Uh, let's go back to that. Uh, but man, it, it's this is what you Patty said. Low clip. Re remember when you when you told me? Okay, we were we were talking about the um, race of champions, the, and the race of champions is this event yes. that they do, like with like you know, basically like if you're an F1 driver, if you're in any kind of like top discipline of mm -hmm. motorsport, ra including rally or whatever else, you can sign up to do the race of champions, and the the deal about it is that like you compete with other drivers. Not necessarily from the same category that you normally race. Mm -hmm. So there was a uh, like people like uh, David Coulthard, for, uh, former F1 champion, racing, uh, or sorry, no, former F1 former F1 driver racing um, Sebastian Vettel, current F1 driver, but also Sebastian Vettel raced um, like all, just other people from other categories, like racing uh, rally drivers, uh, fucking motor, even MotoGP drivers were were in it driving cars or whatever balloon drivers yeah <laughs> all, all sorts of drivers that but, guy the old man from up yeah <laughs> uh, but the, the one funny thing that like you pointed out and i remember is that like if you saw one of those races going on you could tell the f1 drivers from the rest of the lot because like whereas everybody else like sometimes depending on the car like the, like you could see them they would be like this shaking <laughs> whereas f1 drivers like their neck would stay like perfectly still yeah like, yeah. yeah. There's there's two schools of G-force uh, mitigation for your head, I guess, in F1 that I've seen. Yeah. Uh, I noticed Vettel. I don't know any other drivers, but Vettel sometimes does the alternate method where, so like, say you're turning right, the the standard is to like lean your head to the outside and you sort of brace it against the wall, right? Right. So you're turning right, your head is getting forced to the left. You just kind of lean it like that. Yeah. But Vettel, you'll see sometimes he's turning right and he'll pull his head and, and like lock it back to the right side. This like, is what Senna used to do. Right. Oh, really? Senna, yeah. Senna did that. Yeah. There's a, less guys go to the inside, but it's more of the, uh, I guess before the G forces got extreme, that mm -hmm. was what was more common, but certain drivers and you'll see Vettel do it now is this just sort of like um it's style it's preference preference preference, preference. Okay. preference style probably where your your stronger neck muscles are right but you'll see Vettel will sometimes pull his head to the inside whereas most of the drivers they have their head pressed to the outside like, you'll be turning right and you press yeah. your head like ray out and then say you switch corners you go like this and you, you have your head to the outside because your head's getting pulled back. whereas other drivers will for go the opposite and pull to the inside. That's it's insane. just a style thing. Yeah. yeah, but you know, it's it's like you you can tell like if if you if you watch F one for long enough, you start you start to like notice these little like nuances in between drivers. Right at the beginning, F one is a very like can be very obscure, can be very opaque uh, of a sport. Like you can you can understand like the excitement of it and this and that, but the people that are like if you talk to like a veteran. <laughs> Right, a fan of F one, like they might be talking about different things. Oh, absolutely! Like, like they're like they're way like and they're way ahead. They're like, oh, you know, like it's the, the meta. The, 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 yeah, the meta. It's the, the meta. Oh, the, 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 the line the Lewis takes the yeah. up around this corner, this and that shit. That as a normal watcher, you probably can't tell, mm -hmm. but eventually, if mm -hmm. you look at it hard enough, yeah. you start to get that. St yeah, you start to get the meta. You know, it's so funny. Uh, I was watching a Smash Brothers tournament, <laughs> a stream, uh, two weekends ago. 
And like I knew what was going on exactly, and then I was watching it with my girlfriend Felicity. Yeah, and she's like, "What? what like, what are they doing?" I'm like, "Cause she's played, she understands the game, but like, yeah. not she. She has it from that outsider perspective, much right. like I do with F1. She's like, <laughs> it's like this guy just performed a move within one sixtieth of a frame, like, and that's like their precision. It's so good that they can execute this within a one or two frames within a second. Wow, which is like ridiculous like right. the that's like uh shooting um <clears throat> that's like shooting a dart uh that's like a hundred feet away into like a guard like a tube uh like of uh, a garden hose that's what it, that's essentially what it's doing <laughs> um old like you like you know like fucking uh uh like what medieval times is supposed to, is trying to tell you like the jousting days yeah like back, back in like medieval europe days like what used to happen or like 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 you knew like these guys were intense and like they, they weren't just like anybody that like would show up and like jump on a horse and like take a lance yeah the way you practice for that for like for those tournaments was to put your lance which was like 10 12 meters right yeah like like way way over there through um like through an ring. iron ring like like the size that like just the tip of the lance would fit and you yeah. had to get a precise every have you time. ever been to medieval times yeah have you been there have you been to yeah, medieval yeah, yeah. times very recently actually i'm actually i'm going in the next two or three weeks oh perfect for my nice. nephew's birthday nice oh, man, it's so much fun <laughs> have you been before no never there's oh. there's a part of the tournament yeah. there are six knights each each sort of anyone medieval oh. times exist in a bunch of cities yeah. around so anyone that's been anyone that hasn't been it's sort of like a old hockey arena divided in yeah, six. That's pretty much what it is. Each yeah. section that you s would sit in is uh, you'll be like the checkered knight, the red knight, the yeah. green knight, the blue knight. You cheer for your knight. One of the games they play through the night, it's a medieval dinner and tournament. Yeah. Where I think the outcome is different every day. They actually compete. Oh, yeah. it's it's It changes all the time. Yeah. Whoever wins. One of the... Is one, that? one of the events is that they have they bring down this uh, thing of rings like three rings deep and they have to see who can collect the most rings on two passes. It's insane. My yeah. friends and I want to go in the, the summer. Nice. Oh yeah, we want to go in the summer, but like dress as peasants <laughs> and, just, and just like get like wasted off of mead. The last time I went was eight or nine years ago. But oh man, I'm going again in the next two or three weeks. I, I want to check it out. Are you go, go with some like adults? And, and I'm going with my uh, my whole family. Oh, going okay. for my, my nephew is turning. Have a few five, drinks beforehand. So and taking him because I like <laughs> it was very clear that my fa like I went with my family last time and like we just got hammered, but we were like we were the top cheerers. We're just like what? yeah, red knight. Let's go, blue knight. Give me a rose. <laughs> Give me a rose. Yeah, yeah. And we were talking shit the entire time. That's hilarious. And, it was, and we had like the front row. It was great. Let's play this uh, low clip. This Patty low clip is actually from, before you play it, the same clip as the torture chamber clip. And this week there's been a bunch of uh, articles alleging that Patty Lowe has, Patty Lowe's been talking stuff about how loud these engines are going to be this year. Okay. This is the source. Okay. We're a few seconds back here. We're about 20 seconds behind, but, changes, but let's some hear of them, uh, First one um, courtesy of uh, the Mercedes AMG Patronas YouTube channel. And this area here is called the, the uh, side protection area. So that's been raised by 20 millimeters. So two centimeters. Your thumb. But also, more significantly, the, the load test which is applied, which makes sure we build it to a certain strength, has been increased from 15 to 50 kilonewtons. Okay, this so is what you said like before. 15 to 50. Very significant. I can't connect to my... Oh. I'm okay, I'm okay with it being done, I guess. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. It's showing now, it's showing now, it's showing now, it's showing now. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Apologies, technical difficulty, the internet. Oh, no, I think... Jesus Christ, all of this has been recorded. <laughs> anyway, guys. Um, yeah. Oh, we're, yeah. Okay, we're, yeah, we're they back. So, so, sorry about that. We, we, had, we had some technical difficulties, but we're good now. So we were talking about uh, Patty Lowe. Patty Lowe is basically like, explaining how it's meant to take five freaking tons of force to the side. That's not what we were trying to show, though. The, what we were trying to show was Patty Lowe saying the sound has portrayed a significant increase 
by ducting the overpressure from the turbo to a separate exhaust. That's that was the point that I was trying to make. It's it's it is understood that we that we're going to Montreal this year, right? That's, we are. That's we the are. Right? That's yes. Yeah. We are going. So I'm going. Yeah, no. So I'm going. Wait, are you going? I'm going. Yeah, I'm going. You're going? Are you going? You're going? I think I think You're we going. are going. Okay, we're, we're going. going. <laughs> we will be there. Um, Possibly two times. So we we will be able to tell like with our own friggin' earbuds, but that was great. It'll like will it actually make a difference to me? The sound like that. That's the thing to me. It, the sound didn't make that much of a difference. It was like yeah, it was cool before when it was super loud, but. To me, it doesn't take away from the sport that it's not no. as loud anymore. Yeah, to me, it, no, that's that's a bullshit reason. It doesn't. Yeah, it's loud enough. It sounds <clears throat> badass as fuck. But hey, yeah, Whatever. if it, they're still if going it can, over three hundred, if it can sound, if it can sound more badass, I'm down for that too. Of, of course, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah. If it can sound it, not necessarily a, a rise in decibels, you know what I mean. But it may be in full full bodied mm. whereas they were medium bodied before. right right <laughs> that's what i've been saying all year I don't, I don't believe it'll be that much louder but i think it'll be that much more distinct at right. least the uh the blow off sound can we look finally at those red tires <laughs> ridiculous red tires okay the, i think they're if, pretty cute if you look in the same photo the right tire is not red oh yeah what the fuck this was some kind of uh Photographic opportunity for charity, but Pirelli. Okay. Well, this, why this, not? This was clearly at the Bridge Bridgestone years, so this would have been like prior right, to right. 2007 or something like that. Right, right. But or 2007 and prior, or 2009 and prior, whatever. Yeah, and and they're grouped. So is this just a photo op? Yeah, it was a photo op. For, it was for charity, but I just came across this. Make it relevant, please. Since, since yeah, exactly. <laughs> since Pirelli has these five colors. Purple banded tires, red banded tires, orange uh, banded oh, tires. Why not make it? Why not make thing? the rubber purple? Why not make the purple red, orange, yellow, green, blue, blue? Because there is a reason why the the, the, yeah, the rubber is black. It's because I it has know. to have a certain amount of carbon in it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I didn't know that. But it's so badass, though. Look how cool it looks. <laughs> no, yeah, no. You know how cool that is? It's as cool as the kid that... Uh, in elementary school, had that bike with the stupid white tires. Like, actually, yeah, oh, red it tires. never they were red fucking tires and shit. mattered. Nobody was any more cool, only for like a day. BMX. I, <laughs> I used to have a wicked BMX bike when I was like 12 or 13. It was white, a white BMX bike. <laughs> with white tires? I didn't have white tires. But I had one of those back tires that was like meant to be half bald with traction on the sides for if you turned really hard oh yeah but you can go fast if you're in a straight line yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that bike kicked the ass it was so good <laughs> um aside from that massa pieces pants felipe nasa master pieces felipe well, massa pieces pants it, he, he did tell like, this, this is something that we talked about last week but it actually didn't make yeah, the, 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 the yeah the final cut cut but <laughs> this is all I really have to say this week. Apparently, Felipe Massa like he waits. Uh, he, you know, he he's, he's got a he's got some sort of a cool conduct. Like he doesn't pee his pants until there's a safety car. That's what he told Adam Cooper. <laughs> you know, look on Adam Cooper's <laughs> Twitter. Felipe Massa told him fans Hotel at the NEC it's impossible to pee when you're driving flat out because you get the fever. Yeah, obviously. obviously. <laughs> so he waits for a safety car. Hashtag too much info. That's a lot of concentrating. I like not like I understand why he would wait for a safety car. Yeah. I've peed in a car before and it was already kind of difficult. I've never peed in a cyclotron, you know, like one of those G gravity inducing machines. Oh yeah, I've never done that. That seems ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> I've been in the Gravitron at at the like the exhibition and the the carnival, you know, where you stick to oh, the wall, yeah. the floor falls oh, out, and you, you stick to yeah, the wall. And you, you can you can walk on the wall. It was I never pretty pee, cool. Never peed in there though. <laughs> <laughs> it must be like akin to like being in an F one car. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's probably very similar. I, and another thing, just 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 to close, I guess as soon as I, we, we've talked about Bernie uh, coming up with uh, his ridiculous, stupid ideas or whatever. Um, the, the the one interesting article on motorsport.com that I read is that it's it's about one of the ideas that maybe got floated um, at one point or another, and it's 
what NASCAR is trying with their feeder series with what 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 yeah what what's if, what are they actually the, the they're basically the NASCAR feeder series right even even their main series they have they have two main series there's a sprint cup I don't I don't want to get into NASCAR, but this, one of the things like this, that they do to some degree the is sprint cup and <laughs> yeah. Um, one of the things that they do to some degree is this uh, caution clock. Mike, listen to this. They will basically force, so they will tell tell their uh, their their flag marshals, mm-hmm. like uh, like buddy that we interviewed the other day, Michael Herman. Yeah. Um, they will force their flag marshals to wave a yellow flag for a determined amount of time if a yellow flag hasn't happened over the last 20 minutes. So if no... <laughs> yeah, right? Every 20 minutes... This is definitely not a sport. Every 20 minutes... This is definitely gonna, not a sport. They're gonna it's entertainment. Bundle yeah. the... Four-course four yellow. All the cars bunch back up. Restart the race. Mm. 20 minutes. Let them spread out. Slow the cars down. Unless it happens naturally, yeah. Unless it happens, yeah. Unless somebody crashes bad, then then <laughs> <I'm all anonymous>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then the final twenty laps of the race will not be affected by any of these artificial yellows. But the thing is, with NASCAR tracks, most laps are about forty seconds. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. Yeah, so it's like ten or twelve minutes. The final ten minutes of the race will be uninterrupted. Yeah, okay, but NASCAR now, races are yeah. something like let's talk about a serious four, three, four, five. Let's talk about a serious races. sport like Formula One, right? So let's <laughs> let's let's say they want to they like let's say they're actually serious about introducing this and they wanted to do it at somewhere like <sighs> Spa, right? <sighs> like Spa, right? No. So where would you anyway. put it? Would you put it down the Camel Strait? Would you put, would you make the yellows like down or Rouge? What the fuck, man? That, no, that's artificial. Like it's not, it's not how much. Luckily, NASCAR tracks are ovals and every corner is the same. There's there, there's a question, right? Okay, and, and and this goes back to what we talked about before. F1 has a serious identity crisis, and now they're just like grasping for like oh you know like like you know how. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. Sorry. Uh, no, but uh, now they're just kind of grasping for air. Mm-hmm. To, like, see, like, what sticks. But is that really... Ca- Let's go back to what they're, is... For- they're throwing spaghetti against the wall and well, nothing's happening. But what is what is Formula 1 supposed to be? Is Formula 1 supposed to be the pinnacle of motorsports? If the answer to that question is yes, then there's no room for sticks like that. Mm-hmm. Come on. There isn't. Because it should be... By definition, the pinnacle of motorsport should be, the, you know, the best drivers, the best machines, not the best gimmicks. And the, it's man yeah, but versus you could also asphalt. you could also define that as something as the best challenges to a racer. Yeah, but can you? Like, sure. Is that is that yeah. sticking to? Well, how is that not like that tests the driver on more than just the corners and the speed he but, can take? But, but does but it? His ability? Yeah. How would it not? Like uh, that's it actually though. Yeah, because obviously driving in on wetter conditions, you need to be a a very competent driver in order to do that. Yes, yes, obviously, right? Yes, yeah. And to be able to transition from wet to dry is obviously a challenge within itself. Right. So it is, I think, challenging, but at the same time. It's like you you are manufacturing yeah, but, yeah, a but, challenge yeah, instead but, of the the natural. L- listen, what to dry diapers you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, P- no, maybe the, 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 the way to dry argument though is not the same argument as artificial yellow flags. You can't. Put no, them I think the that's kind of gross. Yeah, artificial yellow flags. Yeah. Is like, come on. No, no. <laughs> no, they're trying to add suspense when but, it's. But listen, sprinklers like okay. Sprinklers. I'm not saying me, that's the right. No, idea no, no. To, but to me, at least, sprinklers is one of those things that I'm opposed to it right now. But if it ever actually goes through and they actually do sprinklers, and as a result of that, they actually have a good cracking race, I'm not gonna belittle the race for that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say like, you know what? I will. Maybe it was because of sprinklers, but uh, you know, like whatever. Like maybe you know. Whatever it might be, I w- I'm not gonna belittle it. Don't put that out into the universe, man. There will never no, be a but that's not, race. no. It's what it's what happened no. with it's what happened no. with DRS, right? No, but that no. is different. Like that, like I think for me, to me, fucking artificial yellow flags. That's crossing the line. Yeah, I agree. With yeah, that. yeah, I agree with sprinklers that. Sprinklers is the same. 
Sprinklers probably is the same. I don't DRS know. is the same because you still have to get within a certain distance. And if they really want to DRS a challenge, reduce it from a second to 0.8. Or point seven, you know what I mean. Here's here's my argument. No, not not close. necessarily for sprinklers, close. but some sort of a solution. Maybe not necessarily sprinklers, but do cloud seeding. That you know how like you know how <laughs> you know no, you know you know how Singapore silver iodine the, rockets. <laughs> yeah, but no, but you know how Singapore does cloud seeding so that it doesn't rain. Do cloud seeding so that it does rain. Like, come on, man. I'm sure, yeah, like, remember you they and wanted, I... They wanted it to rain. Remember no. the last race, the pollution from the Indonesian No, the one, they, wanted it to rain, they wanted it to rain outside Ar- of the city. Around the edge of the... Yeah. Cl- the no, 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 no. Make it rain on the track. And... and <laughs> Because <laughs> no. honestly, just I'm just sh- in a bubble. No, but like no. Google, <laughs> Google silver iodine. No, but come on, Google silver I'm iodine. Sh- I'm sure that you, as much as as much as me, like we've been watching a race where it could potentially rain, where th- where there has been a history of it raining on a Sunday, and over the last year or so. It basically never happened. It like we're like we're, we're waiting. Oh man, like you know Malaysia. We were waiting. It always it always rains in Malaysia, and the and the forecast is calling for rain, and then it never rained. No, fuck that. Like yeah, send some fucking iodine and torpedoes I up think, in the air. Make it rain. I think. And if yeah, if the I, rain comes from the sky, I I'm disagree. down. I disagree. <laughs> okay, I th- I think. So when I watched the, the this season, yeah. uh, last season of racing. We wanted that because Mercedes had this lead. Right. And we were tired of Mercedes just being in the lead. We just wanted more excitement with the Mercedes within it. Not right. just like, it's Mercedes and then maybe like one of the Ferraris and then the rest. And then, you know, obviously Alonzo in the back uh, or Jensen Button in the back or, yeah. or whatever the case may be. <laughs> Fucking Macondas, yeah. <laughs> but but we just wanted more excitement. And <laughs> sure. the rain would have created that. Yes. Right? Uh, it, but that's just sort of it. I... I don't know. Shoot shit into the sky to make it rain. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but we just want more excitement. I think I, because I I see the fascination with the sport. I really do. Yes. Uh, and I see it as a sport because it, it it's competitive, right? It's just like I want to beat this very. fucking guy beside me. Yeah. It's naturally very competitive. Yes. Uh, I personally disagree, though. I don't want to. I'd rather see dry races, to be honest. But when, we talked what... about racing in the snow. Yeah, we did. And, and you were like, "Yeah, I could see that. I kind of <laughs> yeah, want rem- that." Remember that clip? You that did. Clip that's not the ass. same as a wet as a wet race. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not the oh. same as a dry one. <laughs> but you go to a country that's full of snow. You expect it. Okay. Not as not as like yeah, you launch you, some you go silver to, you go to rockets. Ma- you, go, you, go to ma- you go to Malaysia. To you go to Malaysia right. where it could rain, and with the times that it has rained. It has been an exciting race. Right. Why not just have a random element of rain, even it's if not that random? If you're shooting iodine <laughs> rockets, even that, <laughs> even if that random element is pre-planned, it's not. That's not random. <laughs> Doesn't work. Yeah. Well, I guess. I guess we'll, we'll but hey, listen. The the way that the sport could evolve could include sprinklers at one point, and to me, sprinklers wouldn't do it, but. <laughs> and rockets to the air, but might. it could. Yeah, but it could. You never know. <laughs> yeah, like it would be kind of exciting. Listen, if it if it produced better racing, and if it and if it actually got like like if if it was an amazing race, I'm sure you wouldn't be saying the exact same thing. You would be like, you know what? I wasn't convinced at the beginning, but <laughs> this happened. You got to give Cut. yourself the credit that you could change your mind. Yes. Let the weather be the weather. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna change my mind on that. <laughs> Fair enough. Let the weather be the weather. I get that. I think with the with with and and on that bombshell, DJ, you can play us out. Flat out fever. Um, podcast. if you like if you like the song that we're about to play, listen to Bamboo.com. They're playing uh, uh February this twenty sixth. Twenty sixth at two albums. Uh, Silver Dollar in so, Toronto. They're so good. You guys mm. are great at the Silver Dollar. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, we played them many, many, many times. Two Lots albums of worth of material. Yeah, yeah. In about a month's time, uh, if you're in or around Toronto, uh, head down. Uh, you know what? If you if you We're listen, super friendly. If you if you listen to the podcast, you come out to me. I'll buy you a fucking beer. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys later. youtubecom slash slash flat out fever flat out fever on Twitter flat out fever and show at flat out fever on email.
was that song, Mike? Man, we man I'm dude. I'm looking for it. Play us out. Turn off these microphones. <laughs> oh, oh I'm having some difficulties, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm.